Hey everybody, how you all doing today? We're going to be starting something a little bit different than usual. We'll be looking at some screens from the latest Rebel Moon movie. And let me tell you, this game, I mean this game, this show movie is, is all around horrible, just awful. And this is, this is Zack Snyder's very subtle symbolism. We have a giant mechanized female being strapped down and getting energy pushed into her and then sucked out of her through her spine and her hair. <laughs> this is apparently the engine for the big super ship. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Uh, we got some other good shots. Let's have a look-see. Uh, we got this giant gun. Oh, let me just go through it this way. Because the eyes opening up. Uh, where is it? Yeah, but there it is. We got these giant guns. Wonder how you operate these giant guns? You'd think, you know, like some sort of computer console, right? And then we jump to the way it's actually used. We use these tank controls to turn the giant gun cannons. <laughs> Absolutely stupid. Uh, <laughs> we won't need their grade, will we? <laughs> Which is apparently why they don't fire upon the village at the start of the movie, is because they don't want the grain. And then at the end of the movie, there's like, fuck it, we don't need their grain. <laughs> it's just... And then we got this robot guy who's apparently Superman. Oh yeah, she gets stabbed. I'll find the picture of her getting stabbed in a second. Here he is, Superman robot. <laughs> Zack Snyder's a little bit pissy that he lost Superman, so he made Superman as a robot. This guy gets stabbed at the end, don't worry about that. This is them blowing up one of the houses with all the grain in it. This is their fantastic CGI. Brilliant. It looks like a ship, right? Uh, this is some great CGI of their ships flying in. There was one really good one where the ship was like landing and just completely fell apart. By the way, the princess that apparently got killed, she's still alive. We find out in the movie this guy knew this the whole time. You'd think they would not care about these villages and focus on saving the princess rather than defending random villages, but hey. This guy here walks halfway down a ramp leading towards the engine and sees the main antagonist, I mean main protagonist, Cora, and he's just like, Oh, there's someone there. Let me slowly reach towards my pistol. And Cora just shoots him. It just falls off the edge. Oh, where, where's the kick? The strongest kick of the world. We saw this in the trailer. Let's see if I can... Oh, that's right, it's in my downloads. Because I I was sharing it live and I didn't save it properly. Uh, oh yeah, we got this lovely... <laughs> it's a woman, I'm telling you. <laughs> we can't do nothing to stop her. She's too powerful. They literally say she's too powerful. It's a woman, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, that was a good line. Good line. Uh, where is it? There we go. Strongest legs in the world. Here she is, kicking a dude. And this is the result of her kick. Bam, they all got knocked down. The one, two, three, four, five, six, I think seven, eight people in here. There's one that one there. So I think seven people just got all knocked down by her kick. This, this piddly kick here on the first guy. <laughs> Which was set up by the elevator door opening. And she just sort of like, yeah, fuck it, kick. <laughs> oh yeah, this was like the little kid who was attached to the, the samurai lady. And I'm just like, ugh, who cares? She actually dies. Spoiler. Uh, these rebel fighter pilots, they show up at the very end of the movie. When the movie's over, they're like, oh yeah, now it's our time to show up. <laughs> uh, the robot was also like Deus Ex Machina right here. He doesn't show up for the whole movie until this point here and just no one's shooting at him. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, a tank here, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 people and a tank all staring at this robot, none of them shoot for like a solid 5 seconds and they all literally stop shooting to let this guy have his, you know, superhero landing and then they start shooting again. <laughs> yeah, that's right, at the end of the movie, they're sliding down the ship. With laser swords. <laughs> I don't think I want to die at all. 
Oh, thanks, man. Words of advice. I uh, should have one. Yeah, here we go. This guy literally standing in the middle of the battlefield. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably 12 people, all with guns. Can't even hit this one guy with a, with a tomahawk. He doesn't even throw the tomahawk at them. He just literally walks at them with the tomahawk and takes them out. Uh, this is the ending where the, the boyfriend dies and this is Korra acting. Oh no, boyfriend dead. Oh, so sad. Uh, what other good ones? Uh, this one here. She was literally just standing in the hall. You could see her head, her whole body. And you can come from different directions of the hall. As you can see, you come from this direction over here, this direction over here. But these two doofuses walk in tandem together. One gets stabbed and just goes, oh, I'm stabbed. And this guy gets shoulder flipped by just being grabbed in the shoulder pad here. He doesn't like resist at all. He just goes flip. <laughs> it's just, and then she steals this guy's gun and shoots two other people. This guy, perfectly fine. Just stays laying on the ground though, because he's knocked out. Completely knocked out, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, they they did the default choking. <laughs> oh, we I've beaten the protagonist. I best choked them. Look at my eyes. Use your eyes. Look at me. And they get stabbed and dies. I got the image of him getting stabbed somewhere. This was after they did the sliding down here. He started choking her out. I'm not even gonna talk about that but scene yet. Uh, where is it? There he is, getting stabbed out. He kind of looks like he's enjoying it, don't you reckon? He's like, oh, yes. Feel the pain. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, needless to say, my review of Rebel Moon is, it's shit. Don't watch it. If you liked Rebel Moon 1, you're probably not going to like Rebel Moon 2. I'm just going to put that out there. All right, let's get into Fallout. <laughs> What a, what a movie. What a movie. So, in Fallout, we were at Big Town and we were killing the super mutants that were going to attack them. I've just done that because we crashed last time around here. I told them not to use mines this time. I told them to shoot them with guns and they did. So that's Big Town sorted. Uh... Where are we going to go next? I think we're going to go to the minefield and disarm all those mines. And then we'll head back to, where is it? Megaton, which we haven't been to in ages and start doing that book quest. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Got the old coughs. No, don't go nighttime already. There should be beds here I can sleep on, so I can just wait till daytime. Daytime. Plus, it heals my character. Both for which work. Okay, data, quests, wasteland survival guide. Let's go. Cool. Why would you be concerned, folks? We literally cleared out this area last night. It's perfectly safe. Inhabitants can come back to it. It's the mines I'm more worried about with you. Ah, it's a super mutant. Okay. Oh, I must have shut the wall. No crit on the super moon brute. There we go, I got crit on that one. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Did you kill the other guy? Good job, buddy. So it should be pretty smooth sailing, because now that we're level 16, we're kind of like super AP, especially with like the special plasma rifle we got. We seem to like upgrade our repair skills so we can actually 
fix our weapons to max repair. I don't think there's a shop that can do max repairs, but... Either way, as long as we can max repair our weapons, it's all good. I also should, like, drop off a bunch of my weapons at my house and nuke it's... I'm not nuke collar, um, Megaton. Just to make life easier. What was that shot about? Came from over there and just piddled out there. Oh well. Not important to me. Some sort of fight going on over there. I'm too busy with my minefield. Alright, so apparently in here there's a bunch of mines. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a pun. Wait here, my friend. If you insist, but do be careful. Hardly repay your kindness while waiting back here. He can, Fox. Because you won't step on mines while you're back there. I am at the minefield, right? Yeah, I'm like real close to it. You have discovered minefield. There we go. Chink. Ow. You jerk. That was my army blasted off. Apparently, I'm stealing if I steal these. Door to Gillian's house. Are there any more mines in the way? Who is shooting at me, by the way? Hello? Ah, oh, you're up there apparently. Ow. Hello, Arkansas. Alright, thanks for your sniper rifle. I appreciate that. Over encumbered, dang it. What can I drop? Can I drop a submachine gun. Oh, I got a combat shotgun, there we go. That'll work. Yeah, I want to drop like these laser pistols off because I don't need both of them. Do these all have weight? Yeah, I can probably drop us some mines as well. They have weight. I got a lot of them. Can I upgrade this more? Can. Alright. Oops. Didn't mean to drop that. Come back. Ch -ch -ch cherry bomb. Alright, well, I guess that's it. It was just a crazy old coot. With a bunch of mines. Does that mean I can safely steal these? Nope. I guess I'll just go disarm the rest anyway for fun. I think it was like meant to be like a, a sniper thing. We meant to be like, oh no, I'm getting sniped while I'm disarming these mines. But, uh, oh, apparently I disarmed that one. There we go. Any more mines elsewhere in this town? I just want to do them for the XP. Oh, there's one there apparently. Some of these are well hidden. I didn't notice them at all, until the beeps happen. They don't hit me though, because they're like super delayed, but... I thought there was one there, I just couldn't see it. I was like even looking right where it was. They hit it well. What? I disarmed it. Why that one not disarm? Hmm. 
Maybe we need to like stare at them for a bit longer. Hello. I hate that I can't jump properly. Oh, someone's shooting at me? Who's shooting at me? Ah, oh, Mr. Gusto shooting at me. Let me get a real gun at Mr. Gusto. One second. No. No. Hold up, Mr. Gusto. I got just a thing for you. Let's go find it. Apparently I missed. Need to get some more elevation so I can shoot down you. So I don't have to like aim at you, I can aim at the ground. Makes life way easier that way. Assault rifle does not shoot straight, apparently. Alright, Mr. Gusto. I'll take your stuff. You absolute jerk. I don't know why these are like red. Like they're stealable. Just. Just jump. Thank you. Thank you. Where are the lunchbox bombs? I thought there was like lunchbox bombs in these games as well. They like look the same as the landmines. Well, I mean they act the same as landmines, but they're in a lunchbox instead. I guess I'm thinking of Seven Days to Die. <laughs> I'm just confusing the two together. Door to Zane's house. Anything in your house, Zane? Shotgun. Got any good books for me? Ah, oh, poor Zane. Pugilism Illustrated. Thank you. I'm gonna sleep in the dead body's bed, as you do. What you got in your toy box? Oh, he's got a teddy bear. What a cute little boy. Does he have a pit boy on? No. Oh, in the tub. Everyone seems to die in tubs or beds. Those crazy people. First aid. Drink. Alright. Nothing in that house. I think of that house over there where we came from originally. Let's see what they got over there going on. Haven't been in this house. Or that house. Benson's house. What do you got, Benson? Nothing in your bookshelf. Somehow this ham radio still has batteries in it. Oh, it's a raider. Poor guy. More raiders. But how'd they die? See? Lunchbox. DC Journal of Internal Medicine. I'll be taking that. Getting some good stats here. I still don't know why these wastelanders are here. 
Why are you here, Wastelander? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. No, it's okay. Nothing. Conductor. All right, to the next house. I mean, if each house has a book, I'm okay with this. I also gotta like start looking up where all the oh, there's blood going to this one. In Gibson's house. Gibson, that you? What have we got here? Tumblers today. I mean, I guess I should grab all the food. I don't know. I shouldn't have grabbed all the food. Alright, what can I drop? Hmm. I guess I could drop an SMG. What about peril? I got a combat helmet I can upgrade. Is that enough? Nope, need one more. Can't upgrade that recon armor yet. Android component? When did I grab that? <laughs> I think if I read the two books I got, I can get the weight back. Wherever they are. Intact garden, and why do I still have that? Get that out of my pack. How does it keep game back in? Where are the two books I just picked up? Oh, that'd be an aid, right? Yeah. DC Journal of Eternal Medicine. And tumblers. Oh, an arm plus two. Where's tumblers today? Lockpick plus two. Ah, oh, tumblers as in tumblers for locks. Yes. That makes sense. I thought it was going to be like dodge rolls or something. Ah, oh, poor Jerry. Oh, there's a safe here. Look at that. Not very much in it, but hey. Considering there was blood on the door, it was just this raider. It's not really that exciting. I thought it would be more interesting. Especially when I had like this little trail coming up to here. Oh. Someone had fun. I tried to tell a story. That's the best you can ask for. Telling of a story. And Gilligan. Bunch of rad roaches, apparently. Sounds like they're all upstairs. Oh, hey, Red Rich. I probably should get my silence pistol out. Apparently, there's a person inside this house because I'm protected.
They don't give much experience. I think because I have like the friends ability almost with animals. I don't know if I grabbed that though. They're not actually hurting me. Ah, oh, Gornak the Barbarian! Hells yeah, it's my favorite comic according to my my character. Don't oh, attack me. Rab Roaches aren't my friend apparently. Do all the houses have a safe? Should I go back through them all? I mean, I'm not going to, but should I? Alright, Gornak the Barbarian, where are you? A G for Gornak. One second. All oh, my windows got scrolled. It's annoying because like, when you're in this game and you scroll in Boilers window, it scrolls your other windows. It's super annoying. Well, I guess that's it for this minefield. We did it. Where was that one? Whatever. I seem to like zero damage to me these days. I had hope. Let's get going, buddy. With all due haste. And I shall follow. All right, anything close by to us that I want to deal with? There's a Temple of Union, but I can walk back for that. And there's Vault 108, which I do want to do. So I think for now we'll head to Megaton. And we'll drop off all the weapons we don't want to use in our house. And we'll get the book lady to say, you did a good job. I literally like never come back to my house ever, for the most part. Alright, what do I now want? I don't want that submachine gun. Uh, don't want armored vault suit anymore. I don't really need this assault rifle. Do these have one weight? They do. I mean, I'll keep them. Nah. Chuck them in. I don't need them. Buffett I do use. Cartons I'm going to be selling. I don't need this many Chinese assault rifles on me. I don't need the combat armor anymore. Chuck the conductors in here. Uh, do I want to keep the fat man on me? I, I prefer the missile launcher of the fat man. Put the flamer in here as well. The Gatling laser I'll keep over the minigun. I'll put the minigun there. Don't need laser pistols or laser rifles. Don't need these charming outfits. Check the minigun in there. Keep the missile launcher on me. I thought I had more than one plasma rifle and plasma pistol. I'll keep them on me. That's just for repairing later. Don't need the radiation suit. Don't need the radar armors. I don't need these spare armors. I can come back and grab them when I do need a repair. Don't need that magnum. Don't need Tesla armor. Vault 101 suits. Don't need them. That. Alright, there we go. A lot of my weight's now fixed. There we go. I'm going back to collecting. Look at all these bobby pins I need to get there. I mean, bubble heads.
I should just like look up where to get them all. I had food in my fridge the whole time. Hey, Godsworth. Good evening, sir. What can I do for you? I want something to drink. Certainly, sir. Certainly. I'm sorry. All right, buddy. Tell me a drink. I once visited a crematorium that gave discounts for burn victims. <laughs> They're already pre-burned. <laughs> You get it, Fox. <laughs> Alright, let's go to that shopkeeper. How are those hot little potatoes? How would I do that? They say it was. How? What do you mean? I've been through the minefield. I'm not buying. Now go on out. Neither is going around all the time with a load. You. Well, I went through the minefield. How? I don't understand. I did it. I have been to the minefield. What? Rem what? What? I'm just gonna have to relearn and hopefully get the speech done correctly because I've been beaten the minefield. How are those hot little potatoes? My very own landmine. Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I. I was meant to travel to the playground in the minefield. My bad. Tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? It's fine. I lost karma for lying, but I can't be asked. Just jump up and down on it. Lots of places are nowadays. Good work staying alive in tough conditions. It'll be a great example for the book. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own, too. Yay, frag grenades. Yup, you've done a great job. I, see, we do I have just need to add in the section on how to cook rat. And this chapter's done. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We still have got two more chapters to go. Alright, next chapter. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there. For better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats. Uh, learning about mire lurks. And when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Uh, I guess handling injury? Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I feel like this I one's kind of bad. <laughs> dedication. I had a broken arm, but I went to bed, so I don't know if it's still broken. Injured? Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. Well, how do you feel? Oh, don't. All right. Well, I go get get myself injured, I guess. Don't try. What's my stats right now? Yeah, I'm all healthy because I took one nap and you go back to full HP. All right, I'm just gonna like walk out in the town. You've done so much for us. I want you to have this. 
It's all I have to offer you. Okay, random settler. Thanks for the squirrel in the seat. <laughs> it does. Thank you. All right, random person. Thanks for your squirrel in the stick. I needed it, man. Very important. Right, I gotta go blow up my legs. Because, <laughs> you know, Myra, she wants me to do this stuff. You won't get suspicious, will you, Mr. Robot, when I blow up my legs out here? Alright, um, Forks, come over here. I don't want you getting hurt. Wait right there, buddy. Why are my own minds going off of me? How are we doing? A little bit bad, not quite bad enough yet, though. There we go. That'll do for Moira, right? Let's go. You didn't see anything, did you, Deputy World? Oh, uh, so stupid. <laughs> I mean, that's the problem we have, like, resting gives you full HP back. Kind of like defeats the purpose of a lot of these missions. We got Billy Creed, I'm going in. Well, how what? Oh, I don't think of it as Are you saying I'm not crippled enough for you? I literally broke my leg. Oh, my arm. But my leg almost broke. Yeah, wait here, folks. Where's the place? Is there like no people around that I won't hurt them? I'll be safe over here, right? No one's gonna come around here. I missed. Missed. Yeah, uh, apparently, I'm still not crippled and injured enough. One more. Oh, wait, no, it says I'm good. Turn the Moira of your injuries. I have to get below half HP, I think. Oh, hey! <laughs> kind of busy here. Well? Oh, I know it does, dear. But it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Excruciating. Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. Lots of drugs. The pain, an abstract. I stay focused on definable things, like survival. The adrenaline helps, so is the fear of death. There's a lot of both. My only solace is thinking about inflicting this pain upon people like you. That's a very enlightened attitude you've got. Shame it doesn't stop bullets, huh? Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Ugh! How can you be walking around like this? Okay, I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. Five medics. Environment suit. Okay. There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I need it to be tested on a few mole rats before I can say it's a success. There's a lot we don't know about Meyer Lurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. And that should be it for the second... Alright, let's do some mole rats. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel bad sensation. Then they're gone before that you sucks, know it. That sucks, man. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties. But for real testing, 
Try it on ten or more. Ten. There's be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Okay, tepid sewers. Okay. Can I lie about this? It works just fine. All right. What? All right. Let me just go to the tepid sewers, I guess. All right. Data map. Tepid sewers. Okay. Need the Vox place. I don't know what I'm meant to do with the Vox. He's a crazy guy, though. Are they enclaves over there? Yeah, they are. Commencing attack. Oh, Deathclaw. I wasn't expecting a wild Deathclaw to be there. She must have released it as she was fighting. Good on her. I wonder if that death claw could have been my friend if I released it. <laughs> Alright. To the tepid sewers. Is there, folks? I feel bad for you, buddy. Ah, just more red riches. Okay. I feel I should leave forks outside when I'm doing this mole thing. Wait done? here, buddy. I need to use the repellent myself. Alright. How do I use this repellent? Is it a weapon? Let's look for repellent. Repellent stick, okay. How about the... Repel! 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 I mean, it may not repel them, but they certainly die. Is that what she means by repel? Repel! But she said tested on 20 mole rats. There's gotta be 20 down here, right? Snake like! Okay, apparently it's not snake like. <laughs> recycling? Not recycling, okay. So it means it can't have ING at the end. Is it suicidally? Is it summoning? Oh, it can't be searching. I think it has to be suicidally. Yeah. Because the only one that matches with the other one. Reconfigure target parameters. Deactivate turret. System information. New admin, FU. Welcome, new user, FU. New targeting parameter, you. Fuck you, user group. Alright, there we go. Oh. Yeah, I had a feeling I was gonna get burned. Oh, well, luckily burns mean nothing to me these days. Might as well be God at this point. <laughs> How am I meant to test the mole rats if they're already dead? Alright, what else is going on in this sewer? Besides a bunch of dead mole rats. What happened to you, mole rat? 
Okay. Oh, hey, my rat. Let me get my my stick out. I got my whacking stick. They're all dead. Who could have done this? Damn, rock salt. Rock salt's key. Who did it? Who shot at me? I didn't die. I feel bad for these raiders these days. I mean, certain fault for shooting at me. I really need to like have to where all the pip boys are in my second monitor somewhere. Or on my phone. It's one of the things I should be doing, just for the sake of it. Is this where I came in? Yeah, that's where I came in. I haven't checked the left. Alright, looks like everything. Pretty buds up here, yep, mines. Is this his key? Nope. Oh, I don't have my whacking stick out. One second, mole rat. Seven or more mole rats. We're almost at twenty. Hey, hey! You leave those mole rats alone. I need to whack them. You too. Stop that. Oh, my mole rats are dead. You jacks. All right, is that you? Yeah. I guess I should be a little careful with my HP. Why do all the mole rats have to be dead? I need to be alive so I can whack them. Looks like one of the exits. 
Oh, well, it'll do. Where are we? In Georgetown West. Let's go back to Tepid Sewer. Enemies around. What enemies? Well, now, if it isn't the little saint from the vault, we've been looking for you. Someone's put quite a price on your head. Who did? Why? You think you can walk around the wasteland doing the things that you do, and there isn't going to be someone who takes notice? Yep. Such a shame. I hear that you could have been something useful. Ah, well. Time to die. All right, guy. Can't we talk this out? <laughs> no. No. I don't think so. It could be. All right. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Aid Stimpak. Where's my sim pack? There it is. There he is, right there. There's a lot of them, apparently. The Talon Company picked the wrong guy to fight with, though. How'd they even know I was here? It's beyond me. Oh, that's super mutants. So it's just two guys from the talent company. All right, good job, I guess. Where's the other buddy gone? There it is. I know it's pretty dark, super mutant. I can't see either. Oh, he's upstairs. Okay. Can't get him. Where are you at, Super Mutants? Oh, the Talons are fighting over there. Go, Talons! You're meant to be fighting me, but you're fighting Super Mutants. Hey, who shot me? Who said you could do that, Super Mutant? Oh, it's a uh, Centaur. Where'd that dog go? I guess all the mechs dead. Oh no! Hey, buddy, you want you want to keep fighting, dude? Err, err. <laughs> Apparently, my guy missed. Private contract. Kill Chris. All right. Let's have a look at this note. Boys and girls, we got ourselves another holier than thou white knight. Need to put him down. Here's the details. Name Chris. Race Caucasian. Sex male. The bounty is 1,000 caps. And this time around, and for a change of pace, they want the head this time. Good hunting. But who is it that wants my head? Alright, where is that guy's buddy? There it is. There should be one more here. There it is. Alright, that should do. Alright, back to my friend. Yeah, not much I can do about the night time being dark. Let's get going, buddy. Back to Nuka. I mean, not Nuka. Megaton. Yes. Good to see you. I feel like she's not going to let me in. I feel like it's too late. Or too early. What at the time is at the moment? Yep. That's secure for a reason. I know, buddy. 
Good to see you. Uh, she should be waking like three hours. Good to see you alive and well, sir. Out of the way, folks. Here. Oh, done again. So for us. I want you to have this. It's all I have to offer you. Certainly, thank you. Certainly, it's the least I could do after all you've done. I don't know why she always wants to give me stuff. I don't even do anything for this town other than for this book lady. And that's just for the quest. Ah, oh, it's not open yet. Hi there. there we go. Get away, little kid. Oh, I can't wait to hear how the repellent's working. I tested the mole rat repellent extensively. Oh, excellent. Substantial field testing, precise reports, and such dedication. <laughs> what more could I ask for in a research assistant? So, how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I'll bet. I mean, it sort of killed them. Those poor little mole ratties. Oh, I wonder if I could make a hypoallergenic version. Oh, but that'd hardly be effective. I should mention that. Proper handling of mole rats could be important if they could be domesticated. Milked, maybe? Milking oh, mole rats? Anyway, Jeez. keep the repellent. Oh, but for your trouble, um, here, have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. I'm sure you can find some use for them. All right, Murlocs. Yes, Jet, more Psycho. Them can help people Bam. learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. All right, I'll try. That's great. I recommend the nest at the Anchorage Water. Hey, I gotta go there for a different quest. Talked about the Meyer Lurks down there. Just go inside and find one of their spawning pods, probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any Meyer Lurks inside their nest. If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. I feel like I'm gonna kill those Merlocks. <laughs> Come back soon. They don't even have the cool sounds. They don't go. Rrr, rrr, rrr. You know? okay. All right. Uh, let's do. Well, where's that one anyway? Oh, that's not where I wanted to be. I was hoping it'd be the Museum of History and the National Ar National Archives. But it's there instead. All right. Um, let's head towards the Vault 108 instead, or Temple of the Union. Go down this way. Plus, we can find that damn kitty playground that she wants us to see. Where is the playground? Yeah, I went here. I, I literally was here. Dang it, game. Yeah, because I walked down this path here and I walked into all those houses. Stupid game. Must have like a very like narrow field for recognizing that you did the mission correctly. How can I get out of here with forks? Alright, he'll work it out. You can do it, forks. I wish to go this way. This way. Wish I had like a motorbike or a horse I could ride. Or even like one of those jet powered power suits that we see in the TV show. Just fly over the surface instead of walking. I mean, I guess I can use the stealth module and hopefully get in there. What's the environment suit that she gave me do? Apparel, environment suit. 30 resist and 5 met up. Okay, not bad. Yeah. 
Oh, two of them. Get him, boys. Get him, boys. Oh, I didn't get XP for that. I've been stabbed. Guess I should keep an eye out for the Chinese assault rifles to repair this one. Getting a little bit low. I mean, I can always swap back to my plasma guns. No, oh, there was an enemy here. Where you at, enemy? Ah, oh, this is the dogger. Poor doggo. I reckon I actually killed this Protectron. If it did, it's a pretty good dogger. This way. Oh, there are more bandits on this highway over here. Looks like a raider camp, but I don't see any raiders. I got some of those guys over there. Where's my sniper rifle? That's not dead. It took zero damage from my shots. That's bullshit, man. Good job, folks. You're way better at killing stuff than I am. Mostly because you can actually hit people unlike me. <laughs> All my shots seem to miss. Well, I don't see anything here. What's the time? 1 p.m. Okay. Should be good to keep going. Just don't want to end up at like night time. Gotta keep on trucking while we got daylight. Oh, we got some fancy lights over there. That must be where we're going. It should be like the. not the railroad, the slavers place. Not the slavers, the slaves place. Temple of Union. Hello, friend. What's your business, stranger? Just looking for a place to rest and maybe do some trading. I want to know what you're hiding in there. Now open the damn door. My mistake, I'll kick off. Hannibal says I gotta let folks like you in, but that don't mean I have to like it. Keep Hannibal, your hands inside I wonder if he don't eats anyone. Any sudden moves. I'm coming down to open the gate. Reckon she'll like my friend? Hannibal is upstairs somewhere. I'm locking the door behind you, so don't try anything. I'm watching you. Oh no, Fox. Oh, Fox opened the gate anyway. Good job, Fox. <laughs> hey, are you Hannibal? Ah, a visitor. Welcome to the Temple of the Union. I'm not going to ask you who you are. Uh, for the moment, I don't care. We are all escaped slaves. I need your solemn promise not to betray us to Paradise Falls or the slavers. Until I get that, you I haven't been to Paradise leave. Falls yet. So, do I have your word? I solemnly swear to protect the Temple of the Union. <laughs> Rip your freaking fur out. Protect slaves? You gotta be kidding me. You're worth money to me. Welcome, brother, to the Temple of the Union. Our home is your home. Your past is your own affair, so long as you serve our common good. As a symbol of our trust, here is a key to the gate. Ah, thanks, pal. What is this, that stone That's head? Abraham Lincoln, the great emancipator. 
We don't know how it came to be here, but it's fitting, don't you think? So you used to be a slave? For three years I was a slave. Ever since I was 14. Six years ago I managed to escape from my master. He's been hunting me ever since. When I found the head of Lincoln here, I knew it was a sign for me to help other slaves to escape. I founded the Temple of the Union as a safe haven for runaway slaves everywhere. We are trying to make a safe... We give food and supply... Why don't you just kill them and take all this stuff? We don't have enough room. There's not enough water or food here. But I have a plan. A plan to take over a place that will be a shining beacon of hope for all slaves. Sounds dangerous. Let's I do it. I want to move all my people to the memorial site for the great Abraham Lincoln, but I need to know if it's safe. I've heard rumors of super mutants infesting that area, though. We need to send someone to check that out first. I can get rid of them. I was hoping you would help us. The memorial is easy to find. Good luck. One other thing. Talk to Caleb. He'll need your help. We can't leave unless he's ready, too. He was a stonemason. It will fall to him to restore the memorial as best he can. He's been pestering me for weeks now to get him some things he needs. I don't have time to deal with him right now. <laughs> In fact, I hate him. May the spirit of the great Lincoln protect you. Ah, oh, thanks, Lincoln. You better protect me, Lincoln. Alright, where's Caleb? You Caleb? No, you're just four score. About seven year ago somewhere around here. Storeroom, Simone. No, you're Simone. Where's Caleb? Is Caleb this? Are you Caleb? No, you're Bramman. It's all the Caleb's home. Caleb, you in here? I don't see Caleb in here. Ah, there he is. Hey. Nope, you're Adriana. Where the hell's Caleb? Ah, it must be this guy. You're new. I'm Caleb. Sir, so, stop wiping my dick with your hammer. While, I could use some help. Hannibal says he needs something. Hannibal told you about Lincoln's memorial? Well, he doesn't just want to live there. He also wants to restore it. Make it so people tell stories about it and the word can get to the slaves. But I can't restore something if I don't know what it looked like. I need a drawing or photograph of it. Where the hell am I meant to get a picture of a memorial? Our ancestors honored Lincoln's life with a display in the Museum of History. I'm hoping that a picture of the memorial still survives in there. What is that stone head? The stone head is from the statue of Abraham Lincoln. Hannibal wants me to reattach it to the statue in the memorial. All right. Okay. And so he's obviously uh, carving stuff. The Temple of the Union's what's been carved. I think it's like the full thing from the memorial. All right, where is said memorial on the map? Okay, it too is at the Natural Museum of History. And National Archives, okay. And there's the Lincoln Memorial over there. Alright, what's my closest place to it? I guess I don't have a close place to it. So I go Georgetown West, and then I walk to a place, and then I walk from there, okay. I can get to the Lincoln Memorial from uh, Fathergut West Metro Station. There's a lot going on with these metro stations. Alright, what else can we do? We can head up to Vault 92. I think that'll be fun. Let's head up to Vault 92. Just because I don't see myself going all the way up this way anyway. Unless I force myself to go up there now. 
it's pretty far away being in the full north of the map. We'll save Gary's vault for the last vault. Well, some fighting's going on. There's an enclave battery over there. Oh, more giant. Oh, I didn't get any XP for that. It's dead, Fox. It's dead. Stop shooting. Oh no, Fox is bugged. Hopefully if he attacks these guys, he'll unbug. Go, Fox. Get him. Yeah, he unbugged. To have to listen to him going boo 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 boo. Where'd the robot go though? Ah oh, well. Sneaky sneaky. Oh wait, if I can like sneak up on the oh no, I can't. So much for that plan. Come on, Fox, do something. You let me down, Fox. Unclay Field Research Terminal. Let's go into it. Field Entry. Dog Feral. Canis. Despite extensive testing, I cannot further identify the origins of this mammal. What? It is clearly a Canis familius, but generations of mutation have caused it to become its own new breed. An educated guess would place it in the Canis lupus or possibly Canis indica. Even with the order of characteristically thick skull. The subject's brain waves have been mutated and territorial aggression amplified. While domestication is still possible in some subjects, the creature should be generally considered hostile. Large scorpion. Based on research, at first glance appears to be in a large panderous imperpeter. But further testing is required to make a more precise identification. The subject's vehicle has mutated to match its enlarged hypodermic aquileus and neurotoxin now acts as potassium and calcium channels. Captive subject was hostile and should be considered a minor threat, though they could prove to be a problem in larger numbers. Anecdotally, reports of specimens even larger than those we have observed exist. But it is likely that such reports are exaggerations. Mole rat. Subject closely resembles a heteroceriferous caliber galiba with enlarged with enlargement due to its heavy radiation. 
While much larger in size than generational ancestors, the local variety seems to have a similarly low brain function, possibly due to an exceedingly tiny brain organ. Subjects' incisors show increased enamel and decline dentine growth, making them razor sharp. Further studies reveal extremely low levels of substance P, giving the subject an incredible tolerance to pain. I will take skin samples of my next subject, as I believe the lack of substance P can be spliced and manipulated for beneficial research. But this fear requires testing in a more fitting lab. Alright, buddy. You do you. Another robot over there. Oh, get out of here. Thanks, buddy. You saved my life. That scorpion had my number. Did he have a bed up there I can use for a quick, quick little kit that? Oh, someone's shooting at me. Good job, folks. Saved my life. I don't see a bed here. I was really hoping there would be one. Alright, we'll just use some Stimpaks, it's fine. We got 40 of them after all. Alright, where is the vault? To our right. There it is, north. Yeah, it's got to focus on north, that makes sense. Another giant scorpion, I'm guessing, over here. Oh, it's, no, it's a Yagul. And miss. There we go. Oh, someone's shooting at me. Ah, this guy. Man, I'm so glad Fox is covering my ass. He's so OP. Saves all these encounters from being difficult to being easy. I mean, I can make them easy by just using the real weapons, but I like to swap my weapons up every now and then to add some a variety of spice to my life. Safe to go down here? Vaguely. I'm sure Fox will catch up. He always does. Why are each of them like super slow bow and slow? Where's my critical hits? Hey, we leveled up. Hells yeah. Something disposal site? Alright. Lockpick's at 75, science is at 75, that's good. I think I want to get explosives to 60. Because that's like one of the attribute things is for that to be 60. And then let's get our sneak up to 50. And let's see if I was correct about that. What was it? Not tag. Cyborg, that's what the one I was getting. Yeah, because it was medicine 60, science 60. 
Must have got something else before it. Alright, cyborg it is. Oh, who's in front of me? A rad scorpion. You got this, folks. Finish it off for me. Although it looks like it's stuck in the ground there. Poor scorpion. He's trying so hard. Yeah, rat scorpion. Next time. Oh, radiation going on here. So what's this place? A greener pastures to disposal site. Okay, so it's just a disposal site for radiation, I'm guessing. Now we got some rubits up ahead. Man, why is my accuracy so bad when it's like clearly visible to me? Almost at Vault 96. Oh, we got another Unclave thing over there. Let's get my anti-Unclave gun out. I'd like to fight them before it gets too dark, but... It's hard to go faster at this. Yeah, stranger. Whoa. That guy has like the flame mortar, it's pretty cool. Enclave Hellfire Trooper. Well, I picked it up anyway. Hellfire helmet. That's pretty cool. Gonna take that stuff. Alright, what's this terminal have about? PFC M. Scott. Prepared by NCO J. Tuckman by the audio dictation on behalf of the PFC Matthew Scott. PFC Scott's voice is the only source recorded in the following text. Begin file. Sir, I encountered three ferals on my patrol. This was somewhere around 0300 hours. I think it was dark, so they saw me first. I discharged my firearm four times, fatally striking two of the three. My weapon jammed just before I could fire on the third target. And just then I realized I wasn't engaging. Oh, uh, it wasn't engaging. I knew our orders would report anything unusual and well. I thought it was pretty strange. He actually followed me back here on his own. We put him in the trailer with the other. But he's been quiet as you like. The strangest thing I've ever seen. Establish and enforce Enclave presence upon general populace. Disposal of genetic non-compliance offenders. Establish constitution enforcement point at coordinates 39138x, negative 77.070. Monitor civilization movement in the area and debrief superior regarding any events of notable significance or regularity. Disturb it, dis distribute purified water rations to the civilians willing to submit to genetic compliance screening. Participation in screening is compulsory for all citizens and use of force is authorized in enforcement. Genetic non-compliance offenders should be detained at the checkpoint. To conserve consumption of enclave researchers, detainees should be disposed of by flame only when withholding facility becomes overcrowded. 
Or detainees become unmanageable. Whichever comes first. Alright. So they are capturing humans in here. The poor wastelander. Poor other wastelander. Poor feral ghoul. Oh. I want to get the rest of this stuff. But they won't let me in further. Lots of fresh water. Alright, let's look at everything. I checked these boxes, right? I did not, apparently. There we go. Alright, back to heading to Vault 98, was it? Or was it 97? Either way, we'll find out soon. I guess it's going to be in that building over there. Olney, Olney, old Olney. Yeah, I don't know how to get in either, buddy. I thought I could just jump over. But you don't see me yelling about it. Alright, he's shooting at someone. What'd you kill? Ah, death claws, eh? So this must be a death claw nest. It's a shame death claws aren't really much of a threat anymore. I mean, it looks scary, but you just blast them right in the face. Oh, you got me. That's scary. I should heal. Oh god, how far is this going to take me back? Ah, shit. All the way from here. You're new. Alright, well, looks like we're gonna speedrun this. Come on out, folks. Shit. That's what I get for treating those death claws lightly. And not quick saving more often. Oh well. Such is life in Fallout when you're in the open world. Just puts us back just a little bit. If only there was some handy dandy music we could play. I don't think I checked out this diner last time I was here though. I know I got distracted by like some... What do you call it? Oh, bombs apparently. Apparently you can't loot that guy. A missile launcher? Hells yeah. Alright, who are you shooting buddy? Oh hey guys. Where'd you guys come from? Nice, nice texture. Kelpa family, three or five. Alright, let's go have a rest. 
Good thing about having a rest is it also auto saves. Oh. As well as healing. And now we can listen to the Kelpa thing as we walk. Oh, we need to know several different codes to get in. That's going to be annoying. Well, number three is seven. I guess we find more about this in various houses around here on the way. I hope. Ah. Uh, well, this is just radiation here. Oh, it was a bloat fly. <laughs> like, what are you blasting? How did I miss all these things last time I was going north? It must be just because I was slightly on a different trajectory. Got them. I believe in you, buddy. Where do we? Ah, oh, leveled up, right? No Kepler family stuff here. Come out, come out. You are. Oh, dress. giant red scorpion. Oh, two of them. Explosives 10, stealth 10. And then we went cyborg. Hoping to find more Kepler diary stuff, but I'm not seeing any. Cause you'd think so, cause it says two here, so it must mean the te Kepler thing is in here somewhere, right? Maybe I'm putting too much thought into this. What do you know, buddy? We got Fox. I want to walk this way. Fox, please. Fox. Please. Please. Maybe it's inside the warehouse? I mean the greenhouse? Well, we found a book at least. How'd that guy get on top of the silo? Maybe at the very back of it, you can just like walk up. Yeah, okay. No, oh, don't see anything here. No, no diaries there either. I was really hoping to find a diary here, but I guess not. Oh. Well, back to heading north. 
We're just gonna have to like guess the password. Assuming we need one. Moo to you too, buddy. Sam Wark, poor guy. Really feel bad about these guys I just randomly kill on the way. <laughs> they shoot at me, they could just talk to me. I'm not that unfriendly, am I? Do I have that sort of face? I mean, I went lots of good karma, so you'd think they'd like me. We're about fighting Scorpion. Scorpion in front of me. getting dark again. Let's wait till daytime. Just makes life easier. Really? You can't hit this thing that's like right dead there? I hate that so much. It just needs like quadruple the accuracy at distance, you know? Like if I can see them, I can hit them. But it's like no 2% chance. Even though I have like fairly high vats on a lot of my stuff. Oh, I'm at the top of the map. means I need to head this direction. Oh good, it's dead. Also tired of these giant scorpions. They're not scary. <laughs> Like, at least death claws do damage to me, but giant scorpions do nothing. Be aware of our surroundings. Oh! Ow. Mole rats. That was a Protectron fighting at me. And there's a Death Claw over there. Oh, I missed. I wasn't a good eye sniper. I do have a sniper rifle I could try to use, but I know it's trash just like every single other sniper in the game. Like, I should be getting, like, critical hits every time I hit there, right? But no. Game is, like, this weird... Like, range for damage fall-off. Okay, aid, stim pack. Not gonna take any chances this time. Keep my health above free quarters. I'm gonna have to walk back here again. How do I get inside? Oh, hey, buddy.
He missed the death claws. There's one. A little bit easier in the daytime because I actually see them before going around a corner and stuff like that. Old only. One more death claw around this corner. Yeah. Oh, this one. Alright, where is the vault here? If I was a vault, where would I be? I thought that guy came back to life for a second there, with his movement. Alright, where does it say on the map? It says I need to go up to the left and then I'll be there. Okay. Oh, more death claws. Come on. Well, I guess I'm going to the sewer. Careful, folks. Death claws are around. I'm assuming we're going to find that death claws come out of here. Ah, oh, it's almost on here. Let's bring this automaton a line. Capturing. Okay, it's got no ings. So it can't be believing. Curiosity. Okay, so one letter in curiosity is correct, but the rest is wrong. Perimeter. Two in perimeter. The ME for equipment, probably. What? It wasn't equipment? You jack. Oh, I don't have that ability to unlock them again. Oops. I should have backed out when I wasn't sure. No. Oh. We'll cheat. Run maintenance routine. Loading sequence. Hello, Protectron. Good job, buddy. Now go out and do it. Personnel only. Please present a valid ID. Here's my valid idea, buddy. I'm sorry, but you are not authorized to be here. What? You were warned. Prepare to be removed by force. But you are my friend. Tell me how to get out of here then. Alright, you're not, you're not moving me by force, okay. 
He just says he's going to remove me by force, but he doesn't actually mean it. He's actually sweet deep down. Alright, we'll let Mr. Robot scout the map for us. Keep going, Mr. Robot. I just die at one hit. <laughs> uh, poor robot. He did his job. He distracted one death ball for me. <laughs> Safe. Uh first time in ages I haven't got this right straight away. There we go. Why would they be giving you Chinese pistols inside a deathclaw camp? Very hard for this one. Let me guess if I protected the robot he would have opened the door for me. Dang robot. Death claws are chewing up my heels, I tell ya. Chewing them up. Okay, that goes back up. Die, would you? Oh, some dead bodies. Brotherhood of Steel Hollow Tag. Medic Power Armor Manual. So that was a medic, apparently. Data notes. MP47, a medic power armor. Security clearance G. Required to read this manual. Well, I got it, boys. I got security clearance G. Currently in prototype, the MP47, a medic power armor, referred to as medic armor, hereafter is designated to protect soldiers in the field and serve as an automated medic. The prototype unit only has MedX delivery systems. The production unit will include stim packs and other injectables. User requirements for medic armor stated that even a child should be able to use it without reading this manual. Therefore, an onboard computer system with verbal feedback response system has been installed. The soldier in the field puts the armor, puts on the armor, and the armor does the rest. It automatically senses the limb condition of the soldier and applies medex only if needed. If the defense contract is extended, the onboard computer system will be enhanced to provide command level data to field operatives. A special self-destruct will deliver a lethal injection to the deserter until the contract is extended. <laughs> These systems remain offline. Okay. Can I have your medic power armor prototype? Yoink. My prototype armor now. Alright, dude, don't know what you're doing out here if you're ducking cover, but thanks, I guess. Look out, folks. Items, aid, pugilist, illustrated, and duck and cover. I think that's all we got, right? Oh, 
Oh, we got some beds here. Oh, emanation box. And a missile launcher. Lots of saves. Alright, time to go to picking. Money. Stealth boy. More money. Alright, that's it. Heading back. We got that way out that we can climb out. Oh, door here, I didn't see. One the glue, scoped M44. Workbench. That way goes up, but we have this hundred locked door and we haven't gone the opposite way as well. So let's go the opposite way first. Another way out there. It's all to old only. Oh, that's where it came in. Alright, so we have to climb out then. But we have that 100 locked door, so I might just unlock it with my cheats. Because I didn't find a key. And I hate that. I feel if there's a 100 locked door, there should be a key nearby it. But if there isn't, I have to cheat. Because I don't know why you'd ever expect anyone to have a 100 science or a 100 lock picking. Mini nuke. Alright, there was nothing really in this room anyway. I mean, I guess a mini nuke is good, but like... I'm not overly concerned about having a nuke. I think there's a way out right here, right? Be aware of the present moment. Requires a key to escape. Well, where do I get the key from? Did the robot have a key? Nope. Does this one also require a key? This one doesn't. Why did the other one require a key? Alright, who's around this corner? Another one around the corner. But I think it's outside, so... I'll wait for it to find me. Alright, we're heading this way until we fell down the hole here. Because I believe... The vault's over here somewhere. Here, yeah, vault. Alright, I moved the marker to directly on the vault. Maybe it was outside the town the whole time. And I had no reason to be at this deathclaw place. But it looked like such a cool place for our vault. Deathclaws coming out of the ground. 
Oh well. Say lovey. Ah, there it is. I see it. Vote 92. Wish I got here a little bit faster, but whatever. Whoa, it's already open for us. Doesn't look like it's in the best state. See, I like putting fragments behind doors. A lot of flies down here. Oops, wrong button. I want to have a weaker weapon. My silence pistol, dude. Okay. Who's that? Be better if my silence pistol actually killed one hit, but oh well. It's all the sound testing. Uh, what the? Oh, it's Merlux. Merlux. Good job, Fox. Anything? Don't see anything. Oh, we got a terminal. Zoe Hammerstein's terminal. Zoe's forts. It's so wonderful to be surrounded by all that's talent. Little old me who can barely play the violin is sitting among some of the world's greatest musicians. I still can't believe my luck. Today was great too. I was able to record an entire symphony. Hayden Symphony Number no. 3 in D minor. It was so beautiful. I could barely keep up with everyone else in the string section, but they were so nice they encouraged me instead of being stuffy jerks or something. Best of all, they record all of it and then let you hear yourself play on the studio speakers. I can't wait until tomorrow. I hear we're doing a piece from... Dolvrak. I've been feeling a little sick lately. Kind of woozy after playing in the studio. Usually get so stuffy in that place, but it sure is worth it. I know I'm getting better just from watching my fellow violinist techniques. They don't even mind giving me some pointers. Tonight a bunch of us girls were... The string from the string section are going down to the rec hall for a dance. I hope that cute guy Parker asked me to dance. He's so dreamy. I'm not feeling very good. I can't concentrate. Went to Dr. Benison's office, but he just said it's stress and to take it easy for a why I think all the time I spend it in the sound studio is making me tired and I can barely try anymore. I'm shaking so much. Keep, keep, please help, please help me, please. Every order of Oh, help, help me, me lose mind. Cannot stop them. Get out, my head. Well, something happened, Zoe. Thanks for the stim packs, eh?
I'm assuming they all turn to Murlocs. Ah, here's the music room. Or well, the music studio, I should say. Well, can't get in there. Oh, I didn't mean to go there, but sure. Ah, oh, poor dead guys. Ears play tricks on me again. Do they just? Ow. All right, hold on, nothing this way. I guess I should probably head back to the sound studio because I don't think there's going to be anything out here, but might as well check it all out. Oh, we got luck. Ah, nuts. Oh, what do we got here? Supply shop. Please enter the password. We got gossiping, batteries, requiring, receiving, stumbling. Well, let's hope it doesn't have stumbling. Okay, it doesn't have ING, which means batteries. Yep. I had a feeling it'd be batteries. Because it's a supply shop after all. Intra Vault Mail. 00476. To Richard Rubin, Overseer Vault 92 from Cordy Summer. This is the fifth time I've requested that you allow me to release our supply of headphones and personal audio listening gear to the residents. It seems unfair that the residents are required to listen to their music samples in the studio rooms. I have an ample supply of the type of equipment that will allow most residents to relax in their beds and enjoy their music recordings. Please let me know your reasons behind this matter. 482 To all Vault residents from Gordy Summer, I'm pleased to announce that we have strawberry pudding available in the vault store for 10 work credits. The supply is very limited, of course, so hurry down and get some before it's all gone. 519. To Dan Kobatsky from Gordy Summer. From your last mail, it seems we have a deal. I'll give you everything on your list in exchange for all the weapon we discussed. Things are getting worse in this vault, with almost half the residents going crazy. I just want to be prepared. Don't worry, I'll lock the gun in my safe so no one can easily trace it back to your department. Ah, uh, I guess I should have unlocked the safe before I left. Unlock safe. Where is the safe? There it is. Certainly had a lot of stuff here. He was ready. What is this audio equipment he's talking about though? I don't see any. Pink gun. Alright. Let's head back down I guess. Oh, door to overseer's office. Exactly where I want to go. That was indeed very easy. Okay, I can use these bits. It's going to say, like, why can't I use them? So I have to get awfully close.
Okay, nothing there. Overseer's office. Richard Rubin's terminal. And you can see out into the main office area, workspace area. Stealth boy. He was prepared with lots of ammo. And Professor Malleus's audio log. All right, let's play this while we're doing the, the thing. Huh. Disaster today. One of our test subjects, V920717, has murdered three other residents in a fit of unbridled rage, the likes of which I've never seen. It took almost 23 shots before the security team took him down. Now, this subject has no history of violence or mental instability whatsoever. My concern is that this subject is one of our most successful implant recipients, able to execute complex instructions during a trance state. During a trance state, you say? What sort of state is that? Got too many combat shotguns going on here. Okay, uh, what was I looking for? I guess just that. Alright, computer. Personal entry 897332. As per instructions, the broadcast equipment for the white noise has been recorded from the sound booths and tied directly into the entire vault's loudspeaker system. I will now be able to execute Vault Tech Confidential Plan V, I mean WNMSC, White Noise Mind Suggestion Combat Experimentation. I have three professors of Malleus's teams doing what I need to get done, and I hope to show some concrete results soon. I had the engineers make it so that the WN can be either triggered from the control center or at the local security consoles. The password to these consoles is V I Y two two four nine. Personal entry eight nine seven three five seven. The results of the W N M S C E white no noise manipulation something combat experience is even better than I could ever imagined. The sheer strength and tenacity of combat suggestion. Four one two five four one two two. What's that about? Is that for a password for a vault somewhere? The sheer strength and tenacity of combat suggestion implemented test subjects is incredible. Imagine an entire army of people who would never disobey a direct order from high command and can fight until it takes over 20 bullets to stop them. 897377 Mally says the WNMSCE is a failure, so there has been a few deaths. One step back, two steps forwards. It's easy to suppress. What everyone in the vault are calling crazies, I've added a command word in their suggestion implants. Simply say that the phrase sanity is not statistical and they will stop dead in their tracks. I've informed the guards of this, but I've told them only to use it when out of earshot of anyone else. 8978398 The command phrase is no longer working against the crazies. I don't know what the hell happened, but I'm losing control of the situation. If we don't get things under control soon, we're going to have a huge revolt on our hands. Malleus is inciting the rest of the vault into action. I'm afraid by the power invested in me by the Vault Tech Corporation, I have no choice but to have him killed. What a waste. Alright, back down into the music vault. Oh, apparently I have unlocked this door. Ah, nuts. It's like that. There we go. Hardest door yet. Nope. Who's been leaving all these frag mines everywhere? Was it you, feedback loops? Notes. Okay, pass this on after you get it. 
Gotta keep this crap off the IntraVault mails. If you can hack into the control panels, use the noise flush feature to spook the crazies. Works okay and it kept me alive these last few days. But they're starting to catch on. We need to get organized and make an attempt for the vault door. It's our only chance. Noise flush. I'm sure it worked, buddy. Oh, there's a trip line there. I don't have 45 repair yet? Damn. I really need to get my repair skill up. Oh, this is where we came in. Oh, bloat flies. I'll handle it, buddy. Don't worry. Don't worry, folks. I got this. Reactor. It's like sewer noise. Spooked the fuck out of me. I thought someone was like walking up behind me. <laughs> well, there shouldn't be anyone walking up behind me. Oh, that's water. Let's put on a... Where is it? Does it have that? Environmental suit. Ah, I'm still taking stuff. Ow. Let me just heal up quickly. Where is it? My luck king. Look at this dude. Let me equip a better weapon. Look at him, he's so cool. I don't want to kill him. Ah, oh, poor guy. Poor Myla King. Where'd your buddy go, Myla King? There is a good pile. He didn't have anything cool on him though. But he looked cool. I hope when I turn into a irradiated zombie, I look like that guy. Alright, engineering logs terminal. Trouble ticket number seven. Lighting on level B, engineer Carl Haynard. If I told Zack once, I've told him a thousand times. Stop using the higher amperage ballast in the lighting grid on B level. They'll overheat within days and blow out because the power taps there weren't installed to spec. I've had to replace 37 ballasts with type K09A ballasts and use a power tap converter on each one. Billing my missed dinner with that sexy redhead violinist in Women's Dorm 7 to Zack's work credit account. Details overridden. Security for upgrade. Air conditioning systems, an odd smell. Fix notes, this was nasty. It seems when vault built this place, they decided to go ahead and parallel route the waste of disposal dumping system with the air conditioning ducts. In some places, the ductwork is corroding, which has spread to the waste pipes, so now we have the waste products leaking into the venting. The airflow through the ducts is carrying the smell into most of the men's dormitories 1, 2, and 5. Had to climb up there and patch it all up. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Wall degradation. D level. Ongoing. I've stressed fractures. I have stress fractures and water seepage in there. 
Free areas on level D. I can only conclude that this is a adjourning underground spring or lag that's putting pressure on the concrete walls. I've already patched the stress fractures and used the metal plating that we normally use for the flooring to shore it up for now. But I recommend we get all the engineers together on this issue and come up with some sort of a more permanent solution. Otherwise, we'll be knee deep in nasty groundwater or worse. Well, that's what I'm in right now. Fix notes. This huge emergency was immediately addressed by our crack engineer team. We ran up to Professor Malia's office and deployed the fluidic lubrication injector in an effort to stop impending doom from destroying us all. Okay, fine. We oiled his damn chair. Is this really the kind of crap that's worth submitting a trouble ticket for? Damn squeaky office chairs. I wish someone would fix mine. I don't know if that comes across in the mic too well for the noise suppression. Water, water everywhere. Let's all have a drink. I do look pretty cool in my suit, though. Look, he's swimming. Look at him swim. Oh, he stopped swimming. All right, where are we now? Back to Vault 92. We literally just did a giant loop for no reason. All right. Sound testing. Oh, we have enough knowledge to know what happened to this vault, but I was hoping for a little bit more somewhere. But I don't think we're going to be able to get any more. It was like a down path here, right? Yeah. So there should be some more murlocs down here. Oh, another murloc king. Look at this cool dude. I always feel bad about killing cool dudes. Oh, did the mysterious stranger show up as well? I didn't see him. A lock. Oh, in a safe. Oh, it's a tough safe. Ah, oh, no, I picked up baseball accidentally. Oh well. I have so much junk. I don't know what to do with it all. We must walk some. Requires key. I don't have a key for it. Where would I get a key from? Melo King, you got a key? Professor Malleus's audio. All right, what do you got from Professor Malleus? I can't believe what I've discovered. Just before he died, one of the security team members told me everything. The overseer has been implanting these murderous intentions in the entire vault population without my knowledge. Using the loudspeakers in the dorms instead of just the studios, he subjected everyone to the white noise as they slept. He then implanted combat suggestions he claims came from Vault Tech itself. He... he must be completely insane. No observation, no controls. I'm going to have to confront him now, and make him pay for what he's done. Half the Vault is dead. The other half, fighting for its life. 
Good luck to all of us. And may God have mercy on our souls. Two engineering staff from Paka Livingston, studio supervisor. Hey guys, I'm not sure if this is even worth putting an official trouble ticket in for, but I'm getting some sort of odd pitch overlay on my sound equipment. It's almost as if like another signal is like leaking in from maybe the vault intercom network or communications gear and picking back on everything I record. It's barely noticeable, but I definitely see it on my scope. Do we have any cross wiring issues or faulty cable insulation problems on sea level? To Hilga Edelbirch from Parker Livingston. I just want to take this opportunity to send you to the intra send you an intra vault mail regarding the wonderful session you performed this afternoon. The sound you coax from your Stradivarius is by none the most hauntingly beautiful thing I ever heard to date. I was wondering if perhaps we could get together tomorrow evening to discuss this in a more intimate setting. To Hilga Eagle Birch again. Hey Hildy, I just wanted to send you a quick note. Our session together yesterday was wonderful. I'm glad the studio doors look. Otherwise, some of your stuffier fellow musicians might not appreciate how closely you and I work. Make sure when we meet tonight you bring your delect delicate instrument and your violin too. <laughs> I have an idea of something we can do with a bow, a new technique I always wanted to try. Damn, dude. Damn. Alright. Will we go insane by going inside this vault here? Ah, oh, no. This is a guy with a laser pistol. I was expecting something crazy to happen here. Like some music started playing. Stealth boy. Ball caps. Oh, there's two people in here. You reckon they're the two same people that are playing together? Oh, the soil Stradivarius. Yeah. Can I do anything with this soil Stradivarius I picked up? As for soil, it just weighs free. That's all I can do with it. It weighs free weight and does nothing for me. Whatever. I think we're done here. This streaks box doesn't work there. Uh, what did we learn? We learned that people went crazy here. There was lots of water. This is the crazies eventually turned to Murlocs or something. Unclear, but safe to assume. There was also some people having sex. Beyond that, that's everything. Yeah, there's no point being in the reactor room again, is there? We did everything in here? Yeah. Alright, let's get out. This way. Overall, though, not the worst fault. Oh, went the wrong way again. God damn it. This way? I can't even tell how to get out the damn vault. Everything looks the exact same to me. Entrance. There we go. Nothing on these computers. Oh, we got another voice log. Should have had this one first, I guess. Oh well. So far, the experiment is going exactly as planned. We are subjecting the residents to extremely low frequency white noise and regular intervals through the loudspeaker system. Using the soundproof recording studios and the musicians was an inspired idea. <laughs> Kudos to the Vault Tech Selection Committee on their shrewdness. Oh, it's daytime. Well, I don't think there's anything else on the map we want to do here, is there? I think that's it. And so let's just fast travel 
to, I think, Dew Point Station Rack. So we want to go to the Museum of Natural History. Which means head of the state. So we can either head in from this direction or head in from this direction. Let's go from this direction. It's easy that way. Oh, it's still night time. There we go. I can see, kinda. We just gotta get to the underground station. Who are you shooting at, bud? Ah, more of these guys. Oh, crashing. That's alright. At least we just loaded an area, so not really a bad crash. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of like 30 seconds lost. Alright, but now we know that they're over here. We can sneak up on them. Not very great at sneaking up on them, are we? Ah, oh, I missed the last one. What's the night? Oh, the combat shotgun. I can shoot for 90%. Ah, uh, can't be asked. <laughs> Too much of it. Where are the dead bodies? Where'd they go? There they are. Everyone's always out to get me, it tells you. Does it give us notes on like who's out to get me when I read them? Nah, it's the same notes, it doesn't show up again. I just got two of them. Aha, what a great door. What we got down here? Raiders. Yeah, mysterious stranger. Put up a fight. Reckon I got a bed here. I got pistols for us. Out of the way, fuck. Don't see any bedding. That's annoying. Alright, which way do I want to go? I guess I should be like reading signs. They might tell me more about where they go. Got any bedding in here, guys? Didn't see any bedding. Oh, well. not a problem.
Could just drink some irradiated water. I got like lots of food on me I could eat as well. And an almost infinite amount of stims. Hey robot, you want to get turned on? I'll turn you on, robot. Disbands, genetic mistakes appeared, repelled. Genetics? Okay, 200 genetics doesn't really help me. Timeline? Okay, that also doesn't help me. Archives? Alright, doesn't help me. Let's turn it off and try again. Hoping for like some easier ones. These are all like no common letters in between them. Converts. Connects. Okay, very similar to connects. Okay. What's well, something that's super similar? Contents. There we go. Login admin. Run ticket check routine. DCTA metro map. View download. Alright, we got the whole metro map apparently. Doesn't really help me though, but it's nice to see the lines. So there's three different lines that we can take that at certain points they combine together. At Metro Central, and then we're along the line Metro, we got Dunport, Metro, Museum, and Anacosta Crossing. Alright. Off you go, robot. Is this where I gotta go? We'll find out once I leave out. Yeah, it looks like it. Caution. Alright, let's eat some food, I think. I'll do. Super Mutant Brute. How did I miss on my shot there, by the way? Whoa, a missile hit me. Whoa, another missile hit me. Ow. Whoa, one of the cars blew up. Well, my legs are all broken. Let's just get my legs in functioning order and not worry beyond that. Okay, is it putting me back down to the cellar? It looks like it is, okay. So I came up at the wrong point. Where are we on the map? Okay, so we went from over here. We didn't get to where we wanted to be. All right. Back down the cellar we go. How do we go further down where we want to go then? It's up this way. I want to get to the museum. Maybe if I go here, I can walk down the museum line. We must walk softly. Must we? Not even crouch, buddy. North Bay Museum Station. This must be the way. Mm. 
Oh, she didn't die. Where'd the body go? There it is. Hey, a bed. Hells yeah. Full HP and all my wounds should be fixed. Yep. Oh no, my fire bug nectar wore off that I accidentally ate. Red line. So this is the museum station terminal here. Northbound museum station. Southbound across the crossing. Why they come at me, man? Don't they know who I am? I guess it's not really much point ever still think because everyone just sees me all the time anyway. Yeah. Wow. Where the fuck am I getting a shot from? Through the wall? Were you shooting me through the wall, buddy? If so, that's a good shot. Nope, someone else is shooting me. Is it you? Good job, Raiders. You actually did damage to me that time. I mean, I am wearing my wrong gear, but still. Ah. Must have been like just straight up. Alright, let me put my recon gear back on. Apparel. Recon. Oh, is my recon gear completely broken? How'd that happen? Did I put the wrong gear in the cupboard? Alright, looks like I'm keeping something else on. I'll be a prototype medical guy. With a party hat on. You got it, Arma. I believe in you. Don't waste all my drugs. This Arma's gonna waste all my drugs, isn't it? I can feel it. I got like that heavy flamer enclave armor I could be wearing instead. What's in here? Turlets? Yep, it's like turlets. There's never anything in these stalls. I always check for posterity. But there's never anything. Chinese training spec. Oh, and some jet and buff out. What have you got on your mind? Nothing, folks. I didn't mean to click on you. Shall follow. Oh, finally, a cherry bomb in the toilet. All that clicking worked off. Chinese training. Sneak up by two. Alright, we're at the Museum of History. At long last. How do I get inside? That looks like the Lincoln Memorial, I'm guessing. Brotherhood of Steel's here. Hello. I need a key to get inside the Washington Monument. Oh well. At least we got unlocked. Who's that giant brute over there? Time to kick some ass. I agree, buddy. Wait, let me get my snap rifle out. Pow. 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 
Bow. Bow. Looks like we got some... What do you call these? I'm not going to say dugouts. They got a proper name. Oh, look at my fighting hat. Like rat holes? Something like that? Is that what it's called? Rat holes? Ah, oh, damn. Fox is wrecking it, dude. Cheers, Fox. Oh, my sniper rifle's open is broken, apparently. Unless I'm using the wrong sniper rifle again. Which I'm guessing I am. Oh no, they're just both pretty broken. All my stuff's breaking down, I think. Except for my laser rifle. Oh, who threw that? Was it you? Hmm. Try to see if I had a missile launcher equipped, but I didn't. Alright, missile launcher. Let's make you number two. Load. Oh, he's already dead. Good job, Fox. What do we got down here? Door to bunker. I leveled up. Hell's yeah. Alright, um... What do I want to level up? Get this to 75. Probably start doing big guns. Let's get my repair up, actually. That way I can make my stuff more better. Alright, what do we got in regards to stuff? We got Computer Wiz, which allows us to never fail computer stuff again, which is good. And concentrated fire, which increases accuracy to the same body part if we fire it at it again. Which is pretty good. Uh computer whiz or concentrated fire. I'm only gonna get one of them. Wish I could get that. I need agility six to do that. I think my perception is six. What do I need for that? Agility 6. Okay. Maybe I do just try to get up to Agility 6. With Infiltrator, if a lock is broken and can't normally be picked again, you can attempt to pick it again one more time. This includes previously broken by a forced locked attempt. That one seems absolutely pointless. I pretty much never fail lock picks. Even if I do, it's like very, very minor. Paralyzing Palm. You'll sometimes perform a special VATS Palm Strike that paralyzes your opponent for 30 seconds. No, you know that before the Paralyzing Palm, you must be completely unarmed. When you choose to explore a perk, every location in the world is revealed on your map. So get out there and explore. Grim Reaper. If you kill a target in VATS, all your action points are restored upon exiting VATS. That seems really good. Ninja. It would just be good for like sneak crits, but that's not really important. With the solar powered perk, you gain two points to strength when in direct sunlight and slowly regenerate lost health. That's cool, but who cares? You sleep deeply, no matter where you are, and you get the well rested benefit of 10% EXP for eight hours, no matter what bed you sleep in. Didn't even know there was some weird deep rested thing of the experience like that. With the puppy's perk, if dog meat dies, you'll be able to get a new canine. From his litter of puppies. Just wait a bit, and you'll find a new fairy friend waiting outside Vault 101. 
You have unlocked the secret of creating Nuka-Cola Quantum. With this perk, every 10 Nuka-Colas in your inventory is immediately converted to one Nuka-Cola Quantum. Devil's Highway. When you choose Devil's Highway, your karma becomes set to very evil. Escalator to heaven. Karmic Rebalance. Set to neutral. When you take the No Weakness perk, all special stats that are less than 5 are instantly increased to 5. Well, that'd be good. But it's not really worth targeting that one. With Nervous Seal, you recover action points more quickly than you normally would. Rad Tolerance. Although you're still notified when you get minor radiation poisoning, you do not suffer any ill effects from it. Warmonger. You figured out all on your own how to build custom weapons. With Warmonger perk, all custom weapon types become available to you without schematics. Party boy. You're such a party boy, you no longer suffer withdrawal effects from alcohol addiction. Rad Absorption. Your radiation level slowly decreases over time. Almost perfect. Take the almost perfect perk to release to... And all special stats are instantly raised to 9. Nuclear Anomaly. Whenever your health is reduced to 20 or less, you will erupt in a devastating nuclear explosion. Note that allies in the vicinity will also suffer the effects of the blast. It's a lot of stuff. Um, so there's no point in getting the stat upgrades then, even though it has some cool stuff. Because none of them are really that good except for like Sniper. I guess Computer Wiz, because that's the one I'll get the most use out of. Oh good, we can sleep in a bed here. Ham radio, duck and cover. I'll use that straight away. Explosive is increased by two. Oh. I almost got hit by that. Oh, what are you doing up there, buddy? How'd that miss? Seriously, how? Ow. Thanks, buddy. How'd that miss? Seriously, went right through him. How'd that one miss too? God damn it. Land the shot, missiles. That's my highest target. 69%. There we go. Aiming his left leg there. How's that going through his body? I'm aiming right at them. Alright, screw it. Stupid missiles missing completely. So we just went from one side of the bunker to the other, that was it. Alright, sure. How'd that game there for all places? There we go.
All right, let's head into this museum. Uh, soon there'll be more super mutants inside. There always are. Uh, our National Archives. I forget which special thing we're getting. I think it's Declaration of Independence we're getting from in here. Ranger emergency frequency found. Chapters of Freedom. Get your ass over here if you want to live. Watch oh, hey, lady. Mines. A quick lock and load. They'll be here any second. Where? What's the matter, huh? You can't stay inside of your own blood. I win again. Hang tight. There's always a second wave. Thanks, Sydney. Keep firing. That was exploded. Oh. Man, this hunting rifle does literally nothing to these guys these days. I still like using it there because it's a fun gun. All right, Sydney, let's talk. Let's wrap. Whew. Say, you're pretty decent in a firefight. Thanks. You're not so bad yourself. Well, with what I do for a living, you need to be. Sorry, I'm being a complete asshole. I'm Sydney. It's good to meet a fellow relic hunter. What do you mean, fellow relic Come hunter? On. You and I both know this is where the Declaration of Independence is stashed. No need to be coy about it. Good old Abraham Washington sent you on the same suicide mission he sent me on. That is the true. The problem is, you're not going to get it without my help. Who was stupid enough to shell a bunch of cats for a scrap of paper? What are you proposing? Hang on there. You need to tell me who you are before I agree to anything. Simple. We pool our resources. Grab the declaration, then make for Rivet City, and split the reward. I've studied the plans of this place. So without me, you are going to go in circles. What do you say? Sure, let's team up. No, not interested. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, let me think of it. Smart move. Okay. The declaration is secured in the Archive's strong room underground. There's a concealed cargo lift right here in the center of the rotunda. I've spent a few days hacking the lock with my remote terminal. When you're ready, punch in the password. Let's get going. All right. Uh, ba 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 ba. Sure. <laughs> I'm surprised that you care. Usually, everyone looks out for themselves nowadays. What is it you want to know? How'd you get relic hunting business? You recovered all the stuff that's in the Preservation Society Museum? Oh no. There is more than a lifetime supply of grade A crap in that place. Couldn't possibly do it alone. Like you, he hires anyone off the street. Honestly, I don't care what he does with that stuff. As long as the caps keep flowing, I'll be there to collect. Alright, nice gun. Never seen one like it. Yeah, it is nice. I don't even sleep without it under my pillow. My father made gun ammunition for a living. Taught me everything about how firearms work. So, I've spent my downtime tinkering with guns like my 10mm Ultra SMG here. It's like a hobby, I guess. That's pretty cool. What happened to your father? Sorry, there's some things I still want to keep to myself. Maybe right, when I get to trust you better. Alright, uh, let's go. There's a cargo lift. I was hacking. That's a good one. I'm ready. Lead on. Where is this cargo lifting? Oh. Enemy lead. It's just pain, soldier. Have some of this and tough it out. Ah, this thing. The terminal. Warning, this terminal is not authorized on the National Archive Security Grid. Please disengage immediately. Unlock Rotunda Cargo Lift. 
Access archives mainframe. Current contracts. No current contracts. Can't access e release. Okay. Overwrite enabled. Secret elevator. Men, today I address you with a message of utmost urgency. Our defenses have been breached and soon we'll engage the enemy. Remember, the will of the people is the only legitimate foundation of any government, and to protect its free expression should be our first object. As your leader, Martin Gwinnett, distinguished representative of Georgia, the I the archive strongly you I have at the end of the east wing here. To fight. We'll have to make our way to it. You haven't even begun to see me peek. Your science skill to find and fix the faulty capacitor in the door. Release mechanism. Science 67 pass. Oh. Good job. I never did jack shit for that. What's this way? Oh, it's a gas way. Let's not go down that way. Gear up, soldier. Another gas way. Whoa, hey there, sentry bot. You're a bit close. No, Sydney. All right, let's reload. I don't want Sydney to die. Wait, right, Sydney. What's up? Can you like wait here? Sure thing. Address you with a message of utmost urgency. Our defenses have been breached, and soon we'll engage the enemy. Men, we can't let the enemy's progress disappear. Gear up, soldiers! We must defend our freedom and our right to be in Oh, shit, it was over there. Got me. Put up a fight! Time to kick some ass! I didn't want to search that bot anyway. Yeah, okay, I got two missiles left. Must be down here, the enemies. I'll get Sydney back soon. We cannot allow the enemy to penetrate our defenses any deeper. Turrets, okay. Careful. 
Okay, how do I get inside here? Oh, this is another locked door. Okay. You got this, folks. I believe in you. I'll just loot while I'm waiting. Bill of Rights! Not what we're looking for, but we'll take it. Living Congress style. Let's go find out about Living Congress style. Speech plus two. Oh, he's bugged out again. That's why he's shooting. Okay. Oops. It's just pain, soldier. Just it out. Go, Fox. Get him. Anything else in here? Any other enemies gonna pop out of nowhere? The enemy oh. You've breached our defenses. Invaded yes, I did. Button win it. My home. But I have not yet begun to fight. I cannot allow you to steal our freedom. The declaration must remain here. It is our symbol of hope. The one thing that cries out we are a free nation. You must be Button Gwinnett, second singer of the Declaration. Then my reputation precedes me. Good. That should make you well aware that I am not to be trifled with, and that my loyalty to the States is legendary. I know your fighting prowess far exceeds my own, but I will still duel you to the death if I must. What will it be, then? Rapiers? Pistols at dawn? Out with it! Robotics expert, enough of this. Command protocol Delta 7 6 reset. Stand by. Rebooting program. Command structure reset. Complete. Self diagnostic. Complete. Program reset. Awaiting user input. What are your command options? I can currently be ordered to shut down, resume my previous programming state, or resume my original functions. Resume previous programming state or original functions. Please describe your original functions. Original function parameters are as follows. Function 1. Provide tour guide services for visitors to National Archives facility. Function 2. Participate in reenactment of the signing of Declaration of Independence show as the character Button Quinnett. Function 3. Provide security support for National Archives facility in the event of a breach or threat to any of its assets. Hmm. Original programming or shutdown? I think just shutdown. Affirmative. Offloading command protocols and beginning shutdown sequence. Shutting down in three, two, one. Right. There never was a good war or a bad peace. Well, he didn't really shut down, did he? Strong room security terminal. Buttons wig! Time to put that on instead. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. Damn, Button, you got a lot of stuff in here. Alright, let's go to your terminal. Unlock all strong rooms. Unlock all east wing doors. Unlock mag seal doors. Uh, mag seal system down. Declaration of Independence got. 
Oops, didn't mean to grab that. Oh. Tales of Junktown Jerky Vendor. Barter increased by two. All right, let's go get Sydney back. What? What are you going on about? Hells yeah, single bottle cap. Where are you, final Rubit? Oh, Rubit Brain. You don't need to introduce yourself, Rubit Brain. Sydney should be for this store over here, right? Alright, Sydney, it's all safe now. You can come join me. What's up? All I know is that it looks like a rolled up piece of thick paper with all kinds of writing on it. Some famous document from a long time ago. Abraham Washington is a huge U.S. history nut. So, that's why he wants it so badly. Let's go. Rivet City? You gonna follow me now? What's up? I need you to follow me, lady. Oh, no. What's up? Oh, no, you don't. You have the declaration on you now. I'm gonna stick to you like glue until we reach Abraham Washington. Okay. That's fine. As long as you actually follow me, lady. Good. Door to archive sub basement. Okay. Uh there was one more room in the other room that I wanna check out. I just wanna make sure both people follow me. Did I ever get down here? Time to kick some ass. Don't worry guys, I got it. Oh, a mercenary? Did you know him? He had a super sledge on him. Looked like he was trying to save everyone by turning the power off. Now where are we? Looks like that's where all the robots came from. Maintenance terminal. Tour guy protection. The unit designed a big win 009 button Guinevere is suffering from a system memory leak. We've had to flush the unit's core CPU several times last month. It's getting all of its orders and directions confused. The unit's reenactment subroutines are inferior, interfering with its tour guide subroutines, causing conflicting actions and scaring visitors to our galleries. Recommend shutdown of this unit and replacement of the central core. One of the automated turrets is constantly locking in its reset position. It is not responding properly to calibration, nor will it track the test targets properly. This is likely due to the tracking array being misaligned with its targeting laser. A common problem in all of that automated turrets. Recommend replacement of tracking array. Mr. Handy's medical unit. Unit Nightingale is back online after extensive refit. I have replaced its surgical arm, injector units, and gyro stabilizer systems, and thruster number three. The unit's central core has been reset and now ready for new service. Tool guide protection. If anyone has information regarding the swapping of the voice software from Thomas Jefferson Protection Performer with a radio uplink and frequency scanning software, please stop by Administration Barclays office. Administrator Barclays office. This unit has been taken offline until we can repair its damage.
Have a lunchbox. What we got here? Backup Protectron. Nope. There should be a medical one here somewhere. But I don't see it. Because they said they fixed a Nightingale unit, but... Oh well. Elevator to National Archives. Please don't crash. Alright, super mutants, if you could come down, it'd be great. Well, at least they're all melee. Nuka Cola. I oh, got Cindy still alive. I guess I'll make sure of that. First aid. What's up? Nothing. I didn't mean to click on you. Whoa, free stim packs. That's pretty good. Oops, didn't mean to pick that up. Gear up, soldier. Look what we have here. I win. We'll get him. No, I don't want the desk, although the desk would have a lot of stuff. Thanks. I want these frag grenades and pulse grenades. We got Fox. Well, that didn't sound good. Cat Fox. Oh. Was that meant to like come at me when we opened the door? Let's get this scrap of paper to eight. What's up? Here you go, Sydney, you you kinda hurt. Um Where's the are oh, you hurt one? Let's get this. There you go. It's only a scrap. Yeah. Thanks. I'll use it right away. Good. I don't want you dying on me, Sydney. Door to the hall. Are we outside? Looks like we're outside. Okay. That means we should be able to just warp to Rivet City. Avoid dealing with any of the bullshit. Goddamn pitch blackness. All right, we can't go in until it's like daytime, right? Yeah. Forgot about that. There we go. Now I gotta remember how to get to his damn place. Looks okay here. I'm pretty sure if we go straight. 
Let's store the signs. Here we go. Found it straight away. Alright, pal, old buddy, old pal, where are you? You in here? Abraham, wake up! If you have any questions about... What wonderful artifacts have you brought me? I brought two artifacts, buddy. Oh my! I never expected anyone to find this! I didn't even know it was still intact! Well, certainly a reward is in order for your efforts. How about 100 caps? Hells yeah. Thank you very much. Alright, uh, Sydney and I have the declaration. I never expect... I mean, I'm utterly shocked. You two have earned your places in the annals of American history. Yes, indeed. You will be remembered for this great day. I will award Sydney's promised bounty to her personally. No need to worry yourself about that. Enjoy your reward, my friend. You've earned it. Hell yeah. Yes? We did it, Sydney. Now both you and Fox are in the way, though. What's up? Any interest in partnering you up again? No, I think I've had my fill of wasteland roaming and picking through ruined buildings for a while. I'm just gonna kick back and spend my caps. But thanks for asking. Huh. I'm surprised. Uh... Yeah. My father. Alright. Well. Now that we brought back the declaration, I think I'll take my cut of the earnings and head out to get drunk. Look me up in the underworld if you ever need me. I usually hang there since ghouls don't hit on me all the time. <laughs> Bye. Alright folks, get out of the way. I do also want to see if he'll give me any other missions. What brings you by Rivet's... If you're still quiet? Yes. Any document of historical significance would be a benefit to the society. However, I am also interested in branching out. Perhaps some interesting artifacts related to our great country's history. Like Abraham Lincoln's sure skull? bring me anything you find along those lines. I'd be happy to compensate you once again. I got a very new gun for sale. A genuine Stradivarius violin. Incredible. I've heard of those items. They were used to make music many, many years ago, I believe. Well, although it has no American historical significance, I can take it off your hands for 200 caps. Hell oh, yeah. Not... Sounds good to me. And they make it 300. Well, that's wonderful. Here are your caps. Thanks very much. Damn, this guy's loaded. Well, yes. However, be... All right, have to go, buddy. Well, I suppose that's goodbye then. Come again any time. So we're missing two documents. Actually, only one document, by the looks of it. So that's pretty good. Uh, there should be a place we can rest here, right? Hey. I just remember where my home is in this place. Well, it's on this. A dredge room. It's all stanky. I don't even know what that stanky room's all about. No, not science lab. Hey, anything going on? That's Contelli's door. Can I sleep in these beds? Nope. I know I have a room somewhere, I just forget how to get there. Hey there. I think it's up one floor. Hey there. Tamper with that, and we're going to have a problem. How do they know, man? How do they know? Is this my room? Nope. Ah, uh, okay. I appear to be locked in here now. I did not mean to be locked in here. A 
Well, I didn't want to lose karma. I just walked in thinking it was my room, all right? So I know my door's around here somewhere. Dang it. Why is it always so hard to find my hotel room? Oh, screw it. Let's use the sky to heal. You're right. That's Walter. You're all set. Alright, let's get outside and fast travel back there so we can head towards the other museum and get the picture that that guy needs. Museum of History, I think it is. Amazing Aquacura! Amazing Aquacura! Alright, there may be some amazing Aquacura in here. Whoa, amazing Aquacura! Hey guys! Be sure you really want to spend the rest of your life with her, because she'll be yours forever. Guaranteed! Damn, dude. Amazing. Simply amazing. What you got going on, Griffin? Got a little something in your eye? Rinse it out with the amazing Aquacura, and you'll instantly see why it's the only product you'll ever need again. Amazing. Simply amazing. Wondering how it works? It's simple. Just drink one bottle with every meal, and you'll start seeing the positive effects the very next day. It's that easy. It's that easy, eh? Aquacura. Get yours now while supplies last. I'm getting a case for my family. <laughs> Delicious halitosis. It's a common condition of the. Well, hello there, smooth skin. Step right up. Have you come to savor the great taste of the amazing Aqua Cura? Why, yes, I have. Why? Have you heard otherwise? No, it just. You changed the name or did it do something else? You get Aqua Pura for free. Why pay for yours? The Brotherhood doesn't deliver the underworld, you know. There's shipping expenses and all that. Not to mention sneaking past super mutants. But beyond that, I added a few of my own secret ingredients to enhance the flavor of the original. So what do you say? Care to procure a bottle? Well, I guess so. A free sample, you say? Hmm. Well, I normally don't do this. But for you... For this one time only, a very special VIP promotional offer. Uh, that's me, guys. Very special Thank VIP. Thing. We have a new winner in our daily Aqua Cura sweepstakes. Here you go, sir. Your free bottle. Oh, thanks, Step Griffin. Step right up in the next five minutes and get your very own bottle of the amazing Aqua Cura at half price. Ladies and gentlemen. Half, half price. price. Hell, dude. Have an oozing sore that just won't go away. All right, we got the amazing Aqua Cura. Soak it in Aqua Cura. Wrap it around your wound and keep your skin clean. What else we got going on here? That's bathrooms. That's a dead end. All right, let's go down to the underground. Let's see if the underground has any stuff for us. Oh wait, what's in this door? Door to Museum of History Lower Halls. All right, let's try this out. Whoa, what's going on up here? Sounds like some feral ghouls are about. The glowing feral ghouls. He didn't die on me. Ah, uh, the glowing one didn't have anything special. Oh, it's below. Now try and hide. 
Oh, I have to reload. Dang, ghouls are everywhere. Let's get the start system online, eh? Vengeance! It's gotta be vengeance, right? Oh. Why is it never vengeance? Returning, carpeting, obtaining, ramblings, resilient, wasteland. Okay, what have we got in similar wasteland? We got an A. Is Kapanen got a lot in similar wasteland? Not really. Mountains. Has absolutely nothing in common. Remaining. Nothing in common. Resilient has a yes. And that's it. Returning. Nothing. Reprimand. Maybe it's just the and at the end? Nope. Hey, apparently it was happening. <laughs> just took a wild guess. <laughs> Reconfigure targeting parameters. Secure exhibit. Open exhibit door. Alright, target should be shooting now, right? Alright, any Lincoln heads here? So much for these turrets talking about I want them to. A door to the Museum of History offices. I'll go there next. Haven't finished exploring yet. Ah, that turret there. Eh? I never know why I put these turrets on. They never do anything for me. Well, there's nothing in this room anyway. What a waste of time. Alright, what about downstairs? Safe. Any real books? Nope. Oh. Excuse me. Had a flicker in my nose. What's going the hell at me? And I find it hard to mute currently with this game because it's hard to alt tab easily. Not a lot going on down here. Just drug addled wastelanders, I guess. Before they turn to ghouls. A bear trap! My leg! Alright, that's just toilets. Alright, let's head to the back of the top floor and then go into the museum office, whatever it's called. Gear up, soldier! Rah.
Oh, the tires are going off. Scary tires, good. The head, please. I want to hit the head. Thank you. A very hard door, apparently. I need a key for that. Keep that in mind. Hopefully, we can find the way to unlock it. All right, you got them, Hawks. Terror controls. Rhythmic. Okay. Shielded. Okay. Presumed. Okay. Maybe I should stop thinking about this a little better. Okay, cut. Doesn't have ink at the end. Defenses. Demanded. Yes. All right, uh, open archives door. System information. Nothing useful. Deactivate turrets. Actually, Mentos is good too. Well then shoot him if you hear stuff. Well, I thought I unlocked this door. Oh, Abe action figure. Hell yeah. Don't know what I'm gonna do with an Abe action figure, but I got it. Good job, Fox. Gear up, soldier. Is this the archive store? Relax, Fox. I got this. There's a lot of books here. I think there'd be some good ones. John Wilkes Booth Wanted Poster. I bet that guy wants that. Alright, what are we gonna upstairs? Besides up, moguls. Damn, that ghoul is strong. Ghoul Reaver. Another glowing one. No load. Damn, that ghoul spooked the shit out of me when you threw his thing at my foot. Did my auto heal heal my arm? No, it didn't. Okay. How am I doing stim twice? 61. <laughs> I got so many. Oh, there's a hole in the floor. Anything in here? No, it's just three bookshelves altogether. You'd think there'd be something in here. A Blinkered Coin Collection. I'm here at your back. I'm glad you are, folks. Doing your job. Activate display case. Lincoln's repeater. Spec ops training. I was, can I actually use the repeater? 
Ah, I can. What does it use? 44. That's 43 damage. Is that better than my scripts? Yeah, it is. All right. Looks like we're using Lincoln's repeater, boys. Yeah. Hey, Fox. Well, hopefully what I got is what they need. Let me just double check my quests. Head of the state. Get a picture of the Lincoln Memorial. All right, let's get after you then. That's it. Janitor's closet for sure. Door to museum hall lower levels this is where it came from. Just trying to like see where this is going to take me because I'm just following the markers on the map. All right, maybe upstairs. Is there like a door up here I can use? I don't see one. Nope, I don't see anything here. I don't know why the markers are telling me to go here. Alright, let's have a look at the local map. Maybe because I'm technically like outside, I don't know. Ah, oh, Lincoln Memorial Poster. Okay, there we go. Is that what it wanted me to take? Yes, okay. All right, let's get out of here, but I want to go to the underground and see what they got going on. I also really want to fire this gun at some point. Because it's a cool ass gun. It's worth a lot of money too. Underground concourse. Oh well, would you look at that? We got us a smooth skinned visitor. Who we, we ain't seen one of your type in a long time. Jesus Christ, what are you? Smooth skin, what does that mean? Where am I? Now tell me, how is it you ended up down here in Ghoul Central without knowing what a ghoul is? Huh? Yeah, huh? never mind. I'm a ghoul. Everyone down here, ghouls. That's what we are. And before you ask, what's a ghoul? Let me tell you, we're not the walking dead, despite the rotten flesh and the smell. We're mutants, sort of. At least I think we are. What does that mean? Smooth skin? You know, because your skin is so smooth, 
and tasty. Relax, I'm just kidding. But I had you going, didn't I? Look at his fingers, man. Where am I? You're in Underworld, Smooth Skin. It's the only safe place for we ghouls in DC. We're here, out of sight and out of mind. The mutants leave us alone, and the slavers usually don't come this far into the city, so it's not bad. Really, the Brotherhood of Steel is the only thing we have to worry about. So long as we don't leave Underworld, that is. Brotherhood of Steel? What's your beef with them? Bastards. They don't seem to be able to tell us apart from the super mutants. Or maybe they just don't care. They see us and shoot on sight. At least they have the common courtesy to miss most of the time. Still, bigots. A city full of ghouls, huh? Alright, I'm gonna have a look around. That's right. As long as you don't bother us, we won't bother you. Feel free to come and go, trade, sleep, whatever. Just make sure that you leave whatever trouble is following you at the door. Because we don't want it. So enjoy your stay, smooth skin. All right, have a look enjoy around. Your stay. Just try and keep from shooting up the place. We got a nice little deal going on down here. We'd like to keep it nice. What can you tell me around here, Winthrop? Me? I keep every hunk of old rusted pre-war garbage around here in operating condition. We've got lights, water, and ventilation all running off the old crap they used to keep this place going for the tourists. I've managed to keep it going so far, but, well, I'm not sure how long I can keep it up. Why? What's wrong? We've scavenged just about all the scrap metal from all the places we can safely get to. We're scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Hell, not before long I'm gonna have to disassemble poor old Cerberus for parts. Hey, you get around, don't you? Tell you what, you bring me back any scrap metal you find out there, and I'll trade you whatever I can. We can I don't even know if I have any. I never pick up scrap metal. around here that we don't need, but a smooth skin like you might make use of it. What's the uh, payment we talk about? Well, all right. That's good to hear, stranger. Just come on back to me when you've gathered some scrap metal. You'll find it just about anywhere. On junked robots, in old buildings, you name it. I mean, I might have you on me. Oh, good. The vents are rattling again. I need to get up there and take care of it. What do you have? <laughs> Actually, I don't want to trade any scrap. What was that deal again? For every five bits of scrap metal you give me, I'll give you a stim pack, some right away, or a dose of Radex. I need scrap, you need goods. We both win. I don't want any of that stuff. Alright, that's good now. Let me know if you have any of that. I'm the world. Got any cool guys down here? Welcome to Underworld Outfitters. <laughs> What you got, lady? Oh, a human. Well, hello. Welcome to Underworld Outfitters. It's... It's been so long since I had a customer. What do you do with the money you make down here? Well, we spend it at Carol's or the Ninth Circle. But I don't like it there. The rest we give to Quinn to trade for stuff we need whenever he goes out. What do you got for sale? Sure thing, human. All right, you got some 44s, I'll take those. 33, I mean 32s, I'll take those. 308s, I'll take those. 308s, I'll take those. Uh, I don't need advanced radiation. Don't need bobby pins. Don't need combat armor. Don't need combat helmets. Uh, don't need any of that stuff. Oh, missile, I'll take that. Railway Rifle. I might be able to buy that. And that's about it. Alright, let's see what I don't need from my stuff. I'll keep Abe's action figure. Might need that. Uh, where are my... My bug juice stuff that I got. I got. A bunch of bug juices I don't need. Yeah, have some cigarettes. You guys love cigarettes, don't you? Have some airy bombs. I have some death claw hands. I have a fission battery or two. Some ciggies. Pre-war book, didn't mean to grab. Bunch of pre-war money you can have. 
Red scorpion glands. Have some whiskey and vodka. I don't need that stuff. Yeah, ghoul meat. There we go. That'll do. Thanks. All right, gotta go. What else got going down here? Eh? You got a workbench. I can make a railway rifle. What do I need? You need a steam gauge assembly, a fission battery, and a pressure cooker. Hey, they didn't need those. But nice to see. Not as good of a crafting system as New Vegas or Fallout 4. But, you know, it's competent. It works. Why can't I sleep in these beds? I was told I could sleep anywhere. I've been lied to. What? Never seen a ghoul before. Kinda. The chop shop. The chop shop. Ah, this must be a doctor's office. It's locked for a reason. Don't get any ideas. Hey, Doctor Barrows. At your service. What brings you to the chop shop? Nothing much. Give me a hand. I hope I can always use fresh human samples. What do you mean, fresh human Have samples? I'm the foremost authority on ghoul evolution. I want to know what makes us tick. Something doomed us to this rotting form, and I aim to discover what it is. So, I need samples of human skin, organs, and other parts to make the experiments valid. Sorry, I keep all my samples to myself. Pity. Well then, what can I do for you? I need, I'm hurt, Doc. I need help. Uh, this is pretty bad. But I've seen worse. Still, it's going to cost 75 caps to get you back on your feet. Hey, man, it's cheaper than what I expected. This won't hurt a bit. Nah, just kidding. It'll probably hurt a lot. Hold still. <laughs> and we're all... All right, what else you got for me, buddy? Nothing. All right. Oh, just trying to... Fix something. One second, guys. All right, all good. Stupid scrolling on my windows. That I don't want them to scroll on. Yeah, we got some glowing ones in there, eh? Inaccessible door. Where's the other lady? Oh, who cares? We don't even know about the glowing ones. Hey, Cerberus. What can you tell you about the underground? <laughs> Damn this pansy zombie programming. <laughs> what a crazy guy. Closing dialogue system. Alright, what do we got upstairs? Got a knife circle up here somewhere? Door to the knife circle. Hey, uh, Zuka. Well, now, look here. We got us a smooth skin that I ain't ever seen before. I'm Azrakal, and this, this is the Ninth Circle. Folks got problems, and I got liquor to sell them. Well, liquor and a few other pick-me-ups. Uh, you need anything, uh, you just let me know. Well, I was kind of seeing what you got around here, but you know. Yeah, just east of here. Bunch of guys with guns are holed up there. Who's that guy in the corner? Sharon. Let's just say, well, he's a loyal employee. Don't mess with me, and he won't mess with you. What do you mean? I hold his contract, which makes me his employer. He will do what I ask when I ask, without question. Well, now I kind of want to steal that contract. Sharon grew up around a very interesting group of individuals. They, well, I guess you could say that they brainwashed him. 
He is absolutely loyal to whomever holds his contract. Unfailing, unflinching, until the day that employment ends. Don't get me wrong. I have no doubt that he holds no end of animosity towards me. But so long as he is my employee, he is as gentle as a teddy bear. Well. Oh, would you now? He's a highly valuable asset to me and to the Ninth Circle. What did you have in mind? 2,000 caps. I suppose we could do that. Uh, although you might not like the deal that I have to offer. You see, I don't like competition. Not at all. It goes against every principle that I have as a businessman. So the fact that there is another source for booze in town troubles me. Greta, the waitress over at Carol's. I want kill her. to kill her. I don't care how. Just make it quiet. Do it, and you can have Sharon's contract. Why not just have Sharon do it? Loyal employee that he is, Sharon would do it without question if I asked him to. However, the entire town would come down on me for it. Greta is quite popular around here. If Sharon is the one who kills her, everyone will know that it was me who ordered Greta's death. I need Sharon clearly visible and in public when Greta dies so that I can fairly claim ignorance of the situation. Makes sense, makes sense. I'm glad to hear it. Come back to me when she's dead, and Sharon's contract is all yours. A word of advice. Be subtle. Open gunplay will only get the town to turn on you, and I will not be able to help you. Alright. What kills and ghouls? Why, whatever do you mean? Ah, an educated consumer. My f simply step over here. As you. Well, we got Buff Out, Jet, Psycho, Simbax, and all the other stuff. I didn't need any of it, though. Let's have a look at Karen. Where's Karen? This guy? No. Go talk to Azrakal. I just. I said. But. See, we're not so bad. Hey, you. Yeah, Mr. you. Mr. Crowley. I want to talk to you. Okay, what Mr. Crowley. You at? You'd think you'd never seen a ghoul up close before. Hey, what's Sydney doing here? Easy now. I ain't got nothing against ghouls. Is that so? Even if I call you a milk-sucking, mutant-loving, water-stealing son of a whore. All right, buddy. Let's get you off to your grave, zombie. Another human bigot. It figures. Go mate with a super mutant. <laughs> mm, so smooth and soft. <laughs> what now? Uh, yeah. Huh. Not sure I know anything of use, but I'll take that drink. That'll cost you two caps. Sure thing, buddy. It's a place for ghouls, not humans. We don't especially like humans. The way they let this next to you. Bye. I don't think that was worth two caps, okay. man. Well, well, well. If it isn't the greatest American hero, or Abraham Washington's greatest anyway, I figured we'd bump into each other again. What brings you all the way out to Ghoulsville? Not much. My new line of work, actually. I've used the proceeds from our last acquisition to set myself up as an ammunition vendor. Pretty cool, huh? No more risking my neck to recover bits of junk for money. Now, the cash comes right to me. Care to take a look at my inventory? Sure, what do you got, lady? I'll take those 44s. Uh, I'll take those 32s. I 
Take those 308s. Mm, do I want your Chinese rifle? How's mine doing? Yeah, I could take it. What else you got? Where's your fancy gun? Can I take that fancy gun off you? I guess not. Uh, take your Chinese rifle and you can have in return this combat shotgun. Some dirty water. Uh, what else we got? You know, one of my missile launchers. My 44 Magnum, so I don't think I'm going to be using my 44 Magnum anymore, well, as long as I have this current Lincoln revolver. Alright, I'll do. Only 100 caps. Alright, let's try and work out how to kill the other lady. Oh, come on. Oh. Hey, Snowflake. Oh, hey, look at that. A human. With hair. Hey, you think we can do something about that? <laughs> you stay away oh, from my head. On. I don't ever get to work on an actual human. I'm good. I promise. I'll take a few puffs and I'll give you the best haircut of your life. No charge or uh, anything. That's right, buddy. I don't need a haircut. Taking Jet over here? How's a ghoul end up as a barber? I don't really care about any no. of this. See you later, Snowflake. Carol's place. Everyone likes Carol. Think you own the place. Hey. hey, Carol, let me go around the right side. Hey, Carol. Yeah, what is it? Oh, oh my, someone new. I'm, I'm so sorry. You must think I'm terribly rude. Welcome. Welcome to Carol's place. I'm Carol. It's not much I know, but it's mine. So if you need anything, just let me know. Greta will get you any food you want, and I handle the rooms. It's so good to have someone new here, even if it is an ugly old smooth skin. I'm How dare just you? Kidding. Uh, Don't right, make that right. face. You'll love it here. Oh, okay. Then. Uh, have you ever heard of a guy named Gob? Gob? Yes, of course. He's my son. Well, not really. Not like you would think of a son. We ghouls don't really work like that, but I love him like he's my own. Do you know him? Have you seen him? Is he all right? He said it was kind of hard to get back here, but he's working a bar Megaton. Works for a guy. I think he might be a slave, dude. Oh, that's wonderful news. I'm so glad. If you see him, please tell him that his mother misses him and loves him and that I hope he's happy. But he shouldn't come visit. It's too dangerous. No, no, he should stay put where he is. All right. What are you telling me about the underworld? Nah, I don't really care about that. That's right. Her and I have been together for, oh, about 60 years now. Damn. Things haven't really been the same since Gob left. He was like a son to me. I think Greta was always a little jealous of him. How much for a room? Oh, 120 caps, I guess. That's good okay, to me. Okay, it's right over there, middle room. Uh, how'd you end up oh, here? That's such a... I'd love to hear you, sir. Okay. But it's we'll be here for a while, guys. I'll be right back. I was born in 2051. A pre-war ghoul? Damn. That makes me a pre-war ghoul.
Shut up. She finished talking. Did she say anything interesting? Do you remember the day the war started? What was the wasteland like after the war? How'd you end up as a ghoul? I do. I was in a shelter with my father when the bombs hit. In DC, we had the luxury of getting a warning after the West Coast was gone. I was just a little girl then. We couldn't afford a space in one of the vaults. I remember filing down into that shelter, my father rushing me in. He stopped to help this one family. And I looked up and called his name. There was a flash of light brighter than anything you can imagine. I woke up a few hours later. The first thing I did was run up to where my father had been. He... he was gone. But the strangest thing... There was his shadow, burned into the wall, so crisp and clear, like he was standing next to me. The heat had burned it into the concrete. Damn, dude. That's badass. The city was on fire for weeks, maybe months, I don't know. I hid down here in the museum. It was the closest building to the shelter I was in. But I could hear what was happening above. People howling like animals, chaos, looting, killing. It's like every foul thing inside of them came out. It was a nightmare. I... I don't want to talk about it. No, I'm sorry, Kyle. How'd you end up as a ghoul? I don't know how it happens. Dr. Burroughs says it was radiation. All I know is that people kept showing up here in the museum. After things calmed down above ground, we tried to live down here as best we could. After a while, things got strange. Strange how? My skin started to get dry and flake off. Everyone's did. It took a while. Months. Maybe a year. But sooner or later, everyone ended up like this. Some of them went crazy. Some of us just accepted it. After a while, other ghouls would find their way in here, and Underworld just sort of grew. No one bothered us down here. We were happy enough to leave them alone. And once my Greta showed up, it was a good enough life for me. Sounds pretty good to me. You tell the same story for 200 years, you'll feel pretty uninteresting, too. Alright, let's go. You're not bad for a human. Oh, thanks, Greta. I don't know how to kill you without arousing suspicion. I mean, where's Greta? <laughs> Said the metal room, middle room. Where would that be? I guess this is my room here. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I don't see any point in getting Karen anyway, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think Karen does anything for us. So let's head to the Lincoln's Memorial. Oh, it's nighttime. Maybe I should have slept in that bed till daytime. Museum station, it says. Okay. How do I get to Lincoln Memorial? Okay. I just walked to the east. Got it. Face my way east and head direction. What's the time anyway? Oh, it's 9 p.m. Okay. It's just going to get darker. I just wasn't sure if it was like near 4 a.m. So if it was, I would just wait for it to become daylight. It's all good. Yeah. Shit's how it is. Give me something to shoot. I'm ready. Kapow. Make sure. Oh, we're going the wrong direction. Why am I going this way? West. I thought they said east of here, though. Guess I was wrong. I 
don't know how we get inside that building. It's clearly a Brotherhood of Steel guys here. I think that would let me in. Everything's above board. Everything's above board. Oh, okay. I can just grab stuff from you? Everything's above board. Alright, well everything's above board. Don't mind if I do. Everything's above board. Time to kick some ass. Oh, people are coming in. Some doggos. Oh, don't need to hit the head. Well, that worked out. Stands jack shit. Okay, look at Memorial is this way. Ah, yeah, that's the giant thing. The pool in front of the Lincoln's Memorial. I'd recognize that anywhere. Mm-hmm. You see, I'm not American, so I don't know the lay of Washington, D.C. <laughs> I just sort of have to guess. That's a cool reload animation. I like it. Lincoln Memorial discovered. How do I take a picture? I'm here. At your back. Apparently all these suit mutants are dead. What killed them? That's close enough. What the Whoa. hell are you doing wandering around here? Easy now, I'm just curious about this place. Not looking for trouble. I want someone to drink, kill, and steal. Not necessarily in that order. My mistake, I'll just be going. Curiosity can get a wastelander killed. I'm going to let you through, but you'll have to talk to Mr. Walker first. Follow me. All right, Stay Silas. Off the memorial steps. They have orders to shoot anyone that gets too close. The dirt path is safe. But, but the steps there. I want to walk on them. That's close enough. Oh, calm down, buddy. I mean, I could have gone in guns a-blazing. I mean, I got a cool hair like that guy, don't I? We should be like friends. Keep moving. Mr. Walker is waiting. Well, is this hey, right here? We have here. I'm Leroy Walker, and you're probably wondering about what we're doing here. Not really. You're just doing your thing, right? Looks to me like you're getting ready for war. What are you really doing here? Nope, not really. I'm just be on my way. Who are you guys? You're a sharp one. We're from Paradise Falls. We're hunting runaway slaves. Ah. Have you seen any? No, no, no. Up north near Old El any. Haven't seen any slaves recently. If I had, I wouldn't tell it to you. That's too bad. You know, you seem like the type of wastelander that might be for hire. I need someone to get some loot out of a nearby ruin. Are you interested? Sure, where is this it's ruin? It's a museum, just past the Washington Monument. I'm only interested in stuff related to Abraham Lincoln. Bring me back whatever you find. I found a bunch of that stuff. Don't try to go into the memorial. The guards have orders to shoot on sight. What will you give me for this toy of Lincoln? I suppose I could give you ten caps. It's not very inspiring, is it? Enough of that, press. Greedy bastard. I'll get someone to burn this. You seem like a right-thinking person. I've got a proposition for you. I'm looking for some escaped slaves. I'll pay 100 caps for information about their leader, Hannibal Hamlin. Interested? I don't hunt runaway slaves. Actually, he's up north. If I find them, you'll be the first to know. How about just kill them all? I don't like your tone much. I'll overlook it for now, since you brought me that item. If you find any more Lincoln artifacts, bring them to me. If you know what's good for you, you'll tell me if you run into a runaway slave named Hannibal. Report Hannibal Hamlin's location to that guy. Good to see you. 
So how do I take the picture then? Or do I just kill these guys? Ah, so they know the runaway slaves want to come here. Well, there's his head missing, that's for sure. Alright, let's have a look at our quest starter. Kill all the slavers near the Lincoln Memorial. Tell Hannibal the memorial's free of super mutants. Take a picture of the Lincoln Memorial for Caleb. Alright, I'm okay with killing all these slavers. Assuming I don't get any negative karma. Ow. Take that, slavers. Oh, a Chinese assault rifle. I can use that to repair my one. I wonder when we get a better Chinese assault rifle. There should be a better one. Oh, that's the most latest skill. Alright. Oh, hey, buddy, stop that. Hey, level up. All right. What do we need? Probably get a speech up a little bit. Medicine to 70, maybe. Let's get our repair up. At least 60. Get that sneak up a bit more. Get that speech up. I think that's probably for the best. All right, 19. I don't think I want any of these ones. I mean, concentrated fire is all right, but. It's not really a big deal to me. Here and now, I think it might be time to get another level up just straight away. Because we're getting to like the end of the levels. And then we get another level 20 stuff, which would be Explorer or the Vat skill. Probably the Grim Reaper. That's what we want. Yeah, let's go get the Grim Reaper. So here and now. Alright, what else do we want to get up? I think just sneak and... Probably get our big guns going up now. So they're a bit more accurate. And they do more damage. Also, I'll try to get my small guns up a little bit more. I assume that also works with the 44. Doesn't say 44. Would big guns be 44? No, it doesn't say big guns are 44 either. No, well, I assume they're affected by small guns. Don't need my lock pick up, really. Let's get repair up a bit more. And... Yeah. I think it's all about sneak. Not that we need sneak. Okay, and then we want Grim Reaper. So that way we get our AP back when we kill people. How do I take a picture? 
Is it a misc somewhere? Looking for like a camera or something. Observer? Is it an aid somewhere? I don't see a camera. Is it a weapon? Nope. We got that observer, that's all I can see. Just says take a picture of the Lincoln Memorial. What if I walk up to it? Is there a button? How do we take a picture, eh? Just seems like there's a, con a context sensitive button press somewhere, maybe. Oh, well, they did the full carving there. And on the other side. Alright, I have no idea how to take the picture. Let's see. I was trying to bring a window in. There we go. How to take Abe Lincoln picture all that free. You can find a poster there, but I don't want the memorial but so I wanna take a picture. All right, so apparently I've done what I need to do. Okay. Because I got that memorial poster thing. Uh, all the way back up here. Temple of Union. We finally met some slavers, though. Beep boop. Here you go, buddy. You have a picture. And such a large one, too. We should stop whacking my balls. Restoring the memorial with this. Thank you. All right. Okay. Okay, let's go talk to Hannibal. Is Hannibal all the way up there? Yeah, he is. Okay. Come back, Hannibal. Stop running away. Everything is done. I can hardly believe it. We are finally going to realize the dream. Well, there we'll was some slavers the over there. We'll meet you at the site. All right. Let's go meet at the site then. Can't fast travel from here. What? Can I fast travel from here? Why won't let me fast travel? What's wrong? So I should be able to fast travel from here. Uh, it's very slightly modded. Mostly vanilla. There we go. Obviously I have to walk far enough away.
Meet Hannibal at the memorial. I'm at the memorial. Where are they at? Alright, what if we just wait here for now? They show up? They haven't shown up. They're always bastards. I didn't have to walk with them all the way here, do I? Keep saying that, folks, but you never get pulled away. You always stay true. All right, if we go into the metro, now it wants us to go back out. What do you want from me, mission? Just tells me to go right here. God damn it. Maybe it takes them a while to get here. Maybe I should just like wait for 12 hours. So soon we're gonna have to fight off some slavers when they get here. Let's wait until dawn. Hopefully they show up. If not, we'll go somewhere else. Right, there's a green thing here. Is that Hannibal? No, that's probably the Steel Paladin. Alright, they never showed up. Alright, I give up waiting for them. Yeah, it's like just outside there. How weird. Oh! I don't care. We're gonna do a different quest. Discover who's supplying Griffin of Aquapula. I don't really care about that. Did I kill a Merlox? Meet Paladin Tristram at the Rockway Cart. Where's that? Yes, that's the one I'm gonna do. Let's head over there. And so we at least do a fight with the Liberty robot. For fun. Is that where the Ghoul Hotel is? Or is that just the Underworld? Or is the Ghoul Hotel in New Vegas? I think it might be New Vegas I'm thinking of. It has been a while. Oh, where'd you come from, Deathclaw? Hmm, my Lincoln gun isn't working too well. Who are those guys over there? It's like a bunch of robots and a guy. Oh well, in the opposite direction I want to go, so... Bug room. Yes, this looks like a ghoul hotel. Maybe not. Hey, Willie. Someone new. I need water, please. Water. All right, here you go. Have some aquapura. You, are you serious? I, I can just have it. I insist, my friend. Really? Always get a good bit of karma there for doing that. You can tell Tenpenny he can kiss my ass. We've got plenty of bottle caps. Let me in, goddammit. How many times do we have to go through this? You're not getting in. I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Who the hell are you calling a zombie? You're definitely not human, that's for damn sure. For the last time, no zombies allowed. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine, I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. 
You'll get yours, all of you. Well, that didn't sound good. I'm really not in the mood, so leave me alone. In the mood now? What are you looking at? You. Talk to me, buddy. Really not in the mood. All right, fine. I'll talk to Ted Penny. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Ten Penny doesn't want your goddamn caps, and I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. But I am him, man. This is how you treat all your guests? You kiss your mother with that mouth? I don't think you're talking to the person you think you are. What? No, just those damn ghouls. Sorry, thought you were one of them. Ghoul or not, I must inform you that you are trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. Renders an official business only. Well, I can take care of that little ghoul problem for you. I'm here to see Tenpenny. I just want to look around a little. Come on. I won't hurt anyone. <laughs> That's rich. What would a man like Tenpenny want to do with a waste rat like you? I have a lucrative offer for Tenpenny. Let me in and, uh, or you'll come to regret it. Tenpenny's expecting me. Just a minute. Let's not be hasty. If Ten Penny is interested in what you have to say, I suppose you should get your chance. Though he normally conducts all his business through Mr. Burke. If Ten Penny doesn't want to talk to you, then you best leave him alone. If you bother Mr. Ten Penny or any of his residents, I will be very glad to forcibly show you out. Do we understand each other? Good. Good indeed. We got him, boss. Welcome to Ten Penny Tower. Don't do anything stupid. All right, let's do something stupid. Pa 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 pa! Let's shoot them all. Yeah, I've okay, got some lobby music. Do, do, do. Receptionist isn't doing a very good job. Hey. I'm starving. No, you're not the receptionist? Okay. Well, well, what have we here? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Susan Lancaster. Perhaps we can become better acquainted in the near future. We're in, boys. Me too. Especially rich, fine young men. Hmm. Listen, you look like you can handle yourself. You survived out there in the wasteland getting here after all. You ever have to deal with ghouls? I'm no stranger to violence is what you're getting at. Actually, I'm not a big fan of ghouls. Ghouls aren't so bad once you get to know them. You're exactly the kind of man we need around here. Chief Gustavo and his pack of goons aren't doing their jobs. Those ghouls keep coming back. Somebody's bound to get hurt sooner or later. Those ghouls sure have people worked up, don't they? What's it like having living at Tenpenny Tower? Beats living out there in the wasteland, trust me. See, I'm not like these other puffed up fogies. I earned my way into privilege. I worked to get here. If you say so. Later then. Well, let's head up. Mr. Tenpenny isn't taking callers. I'm here to see Tenpenny, but if you weren't so incompetent, you'd know that. Hold on there a minute. Oh, all right, I'll let you in, but if Tenpenny hollers because he isn't expecting you, you're dead. Well, we got in. Damn. That's a mighty fine place he's got going on here. No rads water? Damn. Mighty fine. It's got a sweet ass car. It's worth it. Allows me to lie to him more better. Mr. Tenpenny, where are you? There you are. Now's not the best time. Perhaps we could parlay sometime later. Thank you. Fancy that? 
A visitor. I seldom get visitors, which is a tiresome shame, because I'm usually relentlessly bored out of my right mind. All of these confounded people fluster about like I'm made of eggshells and about to fall to pieces in any moment. I'm surprised they even let you in. Well, so, I hadn't my way in. What do you think of my fine tower here? It's quite the jewel of the wasteland, isn't it? I dare say I'm quite proud of it myself. Indeed, I'm extremely impressed. You didn't build this tower, you found it and moved in. Big fucking deal. Eh, it's okay here. Right, oh. When I saw this place jutting up out of the horizon, I knew what I had to do. I hired some muscle, and we got this place fixed up right quick. I had the great fortune to run into Mr. Burke, an absolute gem of a man. He certainly has a way of getting done what needs to get done, doesn't he? Then it was a matter of getting the right type of tenants with the right type of assets, and the rest is, as they say, history. All right. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Tenpenny. Oh, it's impolite for a gentleman to talk about himself, but I'd hope this magnificent tower would speak volumes. Why well, large tower you got here? Are you overcompensating for something? Some might say Tenpenny Tower is my crowning achievement, but no... No, no, my dear boy, it is just the beginning. I have to go now, apparently. Hi, Joe. Run along now. I was kind of expecting something a bit better than that, but sure. I can see all the way to the vault from here. Alright, where is Megaton? Should be that direction ish, right? Yeah. Can't quite see it from here, though. Oh, that's good to have you. I was expecting more to happen, but apparently, absolutely nothing happened here. Anything else we can steal? That's of value. Get out of the way, folks. Can I help you? There is safety in my fullness. All right, who hey. are you? Irving Chong. I am Comrade Cheng. What? Comrade? People, Get him. Shining servant of the community. How can I help you? I've never met a communist before. Ah, but not everyone has common sense, do they? True happiness flows from respecting those in charge because they have the happiness of the people at heart. For example, I've appointed a committee to discuss this problem with the ghouls trying to get in here. Do you know anything about ghouls? I know quite a bit. Well, I'll try not to be bothered then. And perhaps you should speak to Comrade Gustavo about getting rid of them altogether. What is this whole ghoul situation with the tower? I'm sure it will end in bloodshed. It's serious business, Comrade. I think I can help you, buddy. Are you mocking me, Comrade? No, I think it's quite obvious that the ghouls would want to be with you. How many pencils do you need, buddy? I don't trust that guy. Can I help you? Oh, where's this dog go? Kai's a key to the empty suite. Yes. Hey, chief. This better be important. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. That damn Roy Phillips won't take no for an answer. Keep showing up. Looking for a handout. Keenest kind aren't wanted. End of story. If I were a betting man, I'd place a stack of caps on him trying something violent soon. And that would make Tenpenny nervous. I don't like it when Tenpenny gets nervous. But I can't spare the manpower to go hunt down Roy Phillips and his band of misfits, or I'd gladly end this thing once and for all. Do, 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 do. 
You're out of line. Those filthy bitches can stay living in those metro tunnels. They'll move in here over my dead body. Well, that can be arranged. <laughs> you don't look like much. Are you threatening me? You're obviously an idiot. <laughs> so I'll let that one slide. But I'm warning you. I won't hesitate to kill you if I have to. I mean, you can try it, but sure. That's a laugh. Roy Phillips can't be reasoned with. Trust me. But go ahead and try and talk some sense into him. It's your funeral. They've holed up in the nearby metro tunnels. They're living with packs of feral ghouls. They've barred the main entrance. Go through the train yard. Good luck, kid. You're gonna need it. Thanks, Chief. I s oh. Good to see you. I mean, they definitely have a pretty good walled garden going on here. Hey, man, can you let me out? I'm on duty. Can't talk. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo directly. I just, I just want to leave, buddy. Make me have to press the button myself. What an asshole. Alright, let's continue on our way to the the fight. Move Liberty Prime. Oh hey there, random reader. The Alright, sure. Whatever. Ba, ba, ba. This must be the rail yard that they were talking about to get in. Yep. There is safety in my Hmm, the radiation's picking up. Come on, ghouls. Come at me. Oh, it's one of the tougher guys. Uh, I didn't kill him. Ow. Oh no, I got radiation sickness. And I'm hurting. Those bastards. Where's his entrance? Maybe it's over there. Hopefully there'll be a bed where they were. Ah. Uh. Metal door to the Rarrington Tunnels. Blue line. Alright, the beating in my head is very annoying. Let's go fix that. That'll do. Gear up, soldier. All getting turned to dust. Classic. I should make sure I'm killing real ghouls though. Time to kick some ass. Huh? Oh. 
came at me, I swear. I like having like max AP every time there. Makes my life just a little bit easier. Gear up, soldier. Especially when trying to do like sneak attacks. Alright, any ghouls around this corner? Alright, seems like we're good. I don't know where I'm going. She's literally walking here. I'm walking here. Alright, oh, that's one of the tougher ones. Well, that's not useful. Stin. And medics, right? Medics does the damage of this, yeah. Alright, need another stin. Damn Reavers. Chewing up all my juice. Time to kick some ass. Sounds like this one down there. Why did my friend kill you, Roma? You ran right past him. Where are you, folks? There you are. Man, I'm really not making any progress here, am I? Where'd I just go? The revolution starts here. Hells yeah. Ah, there we go. Put your weapons away. I'll start shooting. So, what are you doing in the metro tunnels? What's it like being a ghoul? I'm here to see Roy oh, Phillips. Yeah? Is he expecting you? Well then, run along. It's not wise to keep Roy waiting. Has a bit of a temper, that one. You watch yourself. Alright, I have to go now. Go live your life, kid. I feel like he doesn't care about my gun anymore after I said I was here to see Roy Phillips. What are you doing here? Just passing through, my baron. Just passing through? That's no way to live your life. You need a purpose, a goal. It's the only thing that keeps you from realizing how meaningless this shit filled existence really is. Oh, that's your goal, buddy. I've been stomping around with Roy and his gang of misfits. Roy's a no-nonsense, take-no-prisoners kind of guy. He heard about this tenpenny asshole, and now he's trying to get us in that tower. He's hatching some kind of plan to kill all those bigot bastards. Alright, that's not that, great. I used to vacation there. Go live your life, kid. Alright, where is Roy? Roy, my dude, where are you? I may have to kill you. Because, I mean, those bigots don't really care to give you any harm, but if you care to give them harm, that's a whole other issue. Maybe he's downstairs somewhere. 
Yeah, in this gate here. Okay. He was showing me the whole way anyway. What a nice guy. Hmm. Let's see this Roy fella. Hey, Bessie Lynn. Hey, Roy. What do you want? So, uh... So you killed a bunch of feral ghouls. Is that supposed to sound impressive? I no, I just want to talk to you. Left for those mindless freaks. But they were a nice deterrent keeping out smooth-skinned bastards like yourself. Biding our time, making plans, getting ready. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes can't keep us out of that tower forever. We've got rights. And we'll take them if they aren't given to us. It's ten penny tag. Do what you want. I might be able to get you in there. Your security is tunnels. Why try to get in ten penny anyway? Not sure where you come from, kid. But out here in the wasteland, everything's up for grabs, and you only get to keep what you can hold on to. Ten penny didn't build that tower. He found it, and took it from whoever used to own it. Now we're gonna take it from him. We tried playing nice, but they shot at us. Fuck them. It's time for them and their bigot ways to die. You're a zombie. People should shoot you. Whatever. You're no better than Tenpenny. If I'm no better than Tenpenny, then he should let me into that tower. But he won't. So I'm busting in. I already got a plan. They think I'm a monster? I'll show them the real monsters. We'll unleash our feral brethren on them. All those bigoted sons of bitches will get torn apart. Trouble is getting past the damn subway access door. You see this? Some kind of escape door that leads from the Tenpenny basement to the subway tunnels. There must be some way to get that open. Let me try talking to Tenpenny. Maybe you wouldn't mind you living there. Ha. Ah, those snooty bitches probably can't stand living with each other, let alone with us. But by all means, try talking to Tenpenny if you like. But it won't work. Then we'll do it my way. You get that escape door in the Tenpenny basement open, and I'll unleash those ferals on them. What a... Uh, duh, 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 duh. You think so, do you? you... Alright, well, that's about all I can oh, say. Those bigots got big comeuppance waiting for them. I mean to give it to them soon. Now get. Alright, buddy, if you say so. It sounds like we're what we call an imp ass. Yeah, I'm kidding, of course. That's one of the easier way out of this tunnel. So I have to walk a long way in last time, like last time. Oh, it's one of these guys. Oh. I mean, I guess they give good XP. That's about all I can say. Ah, oh, my medics wore off. That's fine. Don't need any more. I killed all the ghouls. Ah, oh, man, it's gotta be a way out here, right? Toy car. That goes down. Metro access. Contamination, though. Is this the door underneath the place, I'm guessing? So if I come in from the other side, I might be able to open the door. Makes sense. I 
I think I'm gonna like just skip the DLC because I think the Fallout 3 side missions are kind of getting pretty dull. There's nothing really to them, it's just like go to place, get ordered around, walk between two places that are very far apart, get annoyed, those sort of things. Apparently it's stealing to steal this stuff, don't know why. Well, they found their bedrooms. That's what I work out how to get out of here, damn it. Good to see you. Hey, Bessie Lynn again. Good to oh, see the... you. Oh, I looped back around to here, okay. Somehow. How do I get out of here properly though? This place is a goddamn maze, I tell ya. Goddamn maze. Okay, is there an exit up the top here? Because this is looks like a a entrance area. Yeah, this looks like an exit. Coolio! That'll make my life easier. Where the hell are we? We're at Warrington Station. Alright. Let's just head west. If it gets too dark, I'll just start waiting. But it should be fine for the most part. Would it be nice to rest on my head, but hey, it is what it is. I wish this guy would stop giving me meds and wasting them. I don't need them for every single sort of random encounter. I'm in danger? Bloat fly. Shit. I hit this boy fly to save my life, man. Alright, you got it. Good job, guy. Alright, it is getting a little bit dark here. I should probably pick up that scrap metal for those ghouls. Uh, they only give me right away and stuff like that. I don't care about right away or stim packs. Means nothing to me. Gear up, soldier. No more games. I could die. That was a lot closer than I was expecting. I couldn't tell in the dark. Was it shooting the outline? Be aware of the present moment. Death claw, eh? Where'd it go? Good job, my friend. I can see for jack shit. Nope, oh, dead end. Back it up. Alright, I'm gonna wait for daylight.
There's got to be a way over this mountain, right? It's shot. Oh, where'd you come from? Crazy rad scorpions. I like to shoot that Yagu, but he's too far away. Let me upgrade, I mean repair my weapon. Kachink. Oh, I can go even higher, nice. Back to fully repaired. Is someone near me? Who's near me? Ah, it's a bloat fly. Had a mysterious stranger as well for that, apparently. Exactly where I want it, on the weakest bug possible. Definitely don't want to proc it on the death claws. No, 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 no. On the weak bloat fly. Gear up, soldier. Nope, oh, another bloat fly. Oh, another rad scorpion. Okay. Ah, oh, because he killed him, I didn't get my AP back. Alright, gonna be getting close now. Yeah, It's like a death claw there. The rubber hood is still fighting it. Gear up, soldier. Oh, I missed. Oh, well, I got it. Let's go fight some enclave bitches. Hey, you're awake. All right. Paladin Tristan is just inside. He's waiting for you. Don't mind if I do. Not so important, those potato crisps. Are you paladin? No, you just scribe. Are you well, paladin, Tristan? Well, there we look go. who's back amongst the living. It's I. Some of Greece. us are starting to wonder if you and Sarah were going to pull through. Good to see you too. I'm here to help. How about we skip the pleasantries and get to work? Oh, the lion say you need some help, so here I am. Fair enough. Intel says the base on the other side of this tunnel is some kind of communications hub for the Enclave. The hope is that if we can crush them here, we can finally break their spirit. Okay, I'm ready to go. I need you to keep your head on straight. No heroics, okay? Liberty Prime was called in to assist with the initial assault. Once we've cleared ourselves a nice staging area, we'll reassess the situation. Come on, things should be underway by now. All right, let's go. It's been pretty standard for the last week or so. We get intel on positions, go in and burn them out. That does sound pretty standard. Gear up, soldier! I hear Liberty Prime, but let's see it. Take a shot of and keep fighting. There he is.
I got a little bit hurt there. Let me get some stims going. Yeah, crush it. The last domino falls here. Death is a preferable alternative to Democracy is non-negotiable. Death is a preferable alternative to communism. <laughs> Oh, I love him. Think. Scanning that structural weakness detected. Exploiting. Engaging red Chinese aggressors. I think I just want to show off Liberty Prime some more, I guess. Whoa, super punch. Oh no. What's happening? Orbital strike. Whoa. No. Liberty Prime. No. No. Liberty Prime. Let me grab your hands. No. No. Find out what the hell just happened. There's no time to talk. Get your ass inside that base and help the troops locate the source of their transmission. Now, soldier, now! Hey, cop, man. Don't you know what's happening? I don't know. I don't know. Terminals, data, anything that can help us figure out what just happened and where it came from. A cop will never face an all to confusion. There's no sadder moment than when liberty falls. <laughs> oh well. So be it. He was a brave soldier. He always knew just what to say. Let's go in. Let's go, boys. I got it, guys. Don't worry. You guys hang back. How'd that miss? Oh, you guys got that one guy. I believe in you. Right, push on up. Oh, I'm missing so many shots there. May take your ammo. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, young clave scientist. Man, 
And this infinite vets thing's great. I'll take that Gatlin laser from you, don't you worry. Get some good XP here. Time to kick some ass. <laughs> Plus, we're getting like crits every time these days, just because of the way we made that build. A laser rifle, what a scrub. Doesn't even have a plasma rifle. Alright, what have we got going on here? Power fist? Hell yeah. Unclave power helmets. Laser rifle, laser rifle. What else we got? Cleaners. Yeah, right, time to keep pushing in. Let's heal up a bit. Is this just back where we were though? It's hard to tell I'm making progress. I guess we are. For the stim pack, buddy. Oh no, don't crash now. No! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> we got so far through that area. All for it to just crash on us. She always like save before I go looting bodies and stuff like that. Especially like deep into it. I can feel it coming. Good boys. I think he's dead, boys.
All right, Gatling laser from him right away. Oh, it's Brotherhood of Steel I'm hitting. I'm sorry, Brotherhood of Steel ban. I thought you were an enemy. I'm sorry. Oh, hopefully he'll auto heal himself. Save me just in case we crash. Oh, that's a bad hit. No, I just want to shoot the torso. Shoot. Oh, we got a lucky crit on him. Set my ass. I win again. Nice, dude. I crashed once. I'd be way further if I didn't crash. <laughs> I just had Liberty Prime die not long ago, though. It was very upsetting. I don't think I'll ever get over it. Oops, didn't mean to pick that up. Is there still a power fist in here? Hells yeah. Okay, it's saved. Just making sure I don't crash, that's the main thing. So, what a nice guy. Quick save. Not taking any chances of this damn crashing business. Oh, can I get more than one crit? Yeah, more sneak crits. I think he noticed me though. Can they see me? I'm invisible. No, Bravo Steel got my way. Oh, come on, pay more attention to what you're doing. <laughs> you're the one that ran in front of my shop, buddy. Yeah, King, what is it? Satellite uplink terminal. Should I be doing something with this? Let's find out. Update standing orders. Request new telemetry data. Server uplink. Telemetry data downloaded. Download telemetry data to use the device. Alright. Deliver this to Scribe Rothschild. Server uplink. Unable. Update standing orders. They remain unchanged. Okay.
Motivate you to animate. Animate what exactly? Ah, oh, this turret that's aiming at me. I couldn't work out what this enemy was. Because you can use live 2D to animate. It's pretty easy there. Now we're back at the capital wasteland. Where the hell are we on the map? Ah, we're just slightly north of where we were. Madness Combat. I do not know Madness Combat. Should I know Madness Combat? Gear up, soldier. More that came from. Ah, it's a death floor. I'll help you out, guys. Who are you guys? Hey there. I just wastelanders. That thing would have killed us all without your help. Thanks. I don't even know what you're doing out here. You may as well take this map. That's where we were headed, but that death claw cured me of my itch for wasteland adventure. Oh, thanks, lady. Where was it? <laughs> What have we got in here? Is it like a... Uh, uh, poor Wastelander. All she had was a knife. Why was she exploring with a knife? Now that's what I call crazy. Ah! Dang it. <laughs> the crashes are getting pretty frequent these days. I think Fallout's had enough of me. Rather than anything else. Death Claws are just annoying that they do so much damage. They don't actually scare me even slightly. It's like the upgraded, um, what do you call them? Ghouls. They do lots of damage. But if you have like stim packs, it's just like, who cares if Death Claws exist? All right, Death Claw, spawn. Is there two Death Claws in there? Damn. I know oh, it's dogs. Where'd my random wasteland go? Oh. No, I'm playing a normal fight. It's just I'm using a mod launcher to launch it. Oh, there goes a Death Claw now. Oh no, it's a Yagul. Whoa, security bot. Calm down, buddy. Can't land a shot, but <laughs> saved my life. I mean, like, I've owned Fallout 3 for, like, so many thousands of years these days, since it first came out. I got the Skyrim and the Oblivion. I don't have the super duper mega advanced edition of Skyrim. Gear up, soldier. Is that whatever edition of Skyrim? I don't even know if I have any of the DLC for Skyrim. That's one thing I'm not sure of. So I never really bothered to do DLC in a lot of these games because I always get like bored with the main content and the DLC comes out like way too late for it to be worthwhile. Unless I buy like the game of the year version. Alright, uh, so all I really got left is DLC quests. We got Find the River Boat, I think that's the good one. And then we got Investigate Radio Transmissions. I guess not of this world's also good, because that's where the UFO landed. Yeah. Anyway, let's finish off this one first with Rothschild.
So I think I'm just gonna like beeline DLCs. So I'm kinda over the main stuff. I don't know how long each of the DLCs take to beat. I assume they're like half the main story, so like four hours to six hours for each of them. But I don't know for sure. things could get interesting. I thought as much. Need something, friend? I need to talk to Roughchild, actually. I just I can't believe it. All those years of work, all of it. For what? One botched operation? I'm still waiting on the debriefing from Tristan, but I'm not sure it even matters. With Prime gone... I'm sorry about the robot. There wasn't anything that could be done. Could have been worse. They could have attacked the Citadel. Hopefully I found something that can help you. I don't know what could help at this point. If anything, we should be thankful they waited this long to use... whatever they used. Nonetheless... We should try and move on. What is it you have for me? I found some encrypted data at the relay station. I'm not sure I found some kind of data. Maybe you can figure it out. Maybe you can focus on analyzing this data instead of crying about your robot. <laughs> ah, yes. Well, I'll see if we can't figure out how to read it. Perhaps it can give us some insight as to just what happened out there. It would be good to salvage something from this mess. Thank you for bringing this to me. I believe Elder Lyons will want to speak with you as well. Perhaps you should find him. Well, he's right next if to you. You'll excuse me. Hey, Elder Lyons. I trust you've spoken with Rothschild. I hope he can make some headway with the data you've recovered. With our primary weapon destroyed, we risk losing our momentum and jeopardizing the entire campaign. I must admit, I now wonder whether moving ahead with this operation was an error in judgment. You could have known this would happen. No one did. Well, it's too late to turn back now. Now it's not really a time to be getting cold feet. And yet, here we are. Discounting the fact that our best field commander is in a coma, and I personal feelings for my daughter, things have not gone well. If we fail now, we could lose everything. You have to keep fighting them. We can't back down now. Everyone here believes in you and the Brotherhood. We can do this. That doesn't sound much like a leader talking. Perhaps I should take over. I sincerely hope you are right. If we are to succeed now, it will once again be largely thanks to you. Paladin Tristan has requested you for a special assignment. Well, report I'm special. To him at once. We've little time to waste before the Enclave seizes this opportunity. That's a lot of XP. Leveled up. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go. Steel be with you. All right. What do I want to do? We're getting close to having max stats, stats on everything, pretty much. Let's get that to seventy-five. I don't really care about melee. I am using energy weapons, so I might get that up a little bit higher. We can get some big guns upgraded, because I do occasionally use them. Get repair up a bit more. Seems good to me. Alright, level 21. We can do Explorer. Which means we can see everything on the map, which will be just easier to get around. I wish it would like, tell you what you've explored or not, though, once you do it. And any other level 22 stuff that's great. Well rested, I don't really care about that. The puppy's perk is cool, but I don't even have dog meat. I don't care about Nuka Cola. Definitely don't want any of the evil stuff going on, or the Escalate to Heaven stuff. When you take the No Weakness perk, all stats are added to 5, it doesn't matter either. It's pretty much just like waiting for level 30, pretty much now. Uh, any good low level ones I didn't get? Nah, no, doesn't help. 
Doesn't help. Mm, doesn't help. I don't know, if anything, it's just like the... Where's that other demolition one? It was like the uh, fire thing. Pyromaniac, there it is. With Pyromaniac perk, you do 50% extra with fire-based weapons. Might be worthwhile. Limbs take less damage, maybe? I don't really care about that. I got so much stims, doesn't really matter. Diva Explorer or Pyromaniac? So pretty much always at 95% at most ranges, so I'm not really worried about concentrated fire. Let's go Pyromaniac. I think Explorer is kind of lame. I'd rather like walk to places and discover it naturally. All right, we got 30 minutes till I end my stream, so let's head towards Gary Vault, and then from there, I think tomorrow we'll be beelining the rest of this end post-game mission stuff with the Enclave. Actually, I can talk to this guy straight away. Apparently, I'll talk to him as fast as possible. I also gotta repair my recon armor. So wearing this medic armor, which I'm pretty sure it's probably broken now as well. Yeah, it's pretty much broken. Oh, I'll work that soon. Nice work back there. Let's hope the scribes can do something useful with the information you retrieved. Unfortunately, we don't have time to sit around and wait for the analysis. Based on what I've seen of you so far, there's an assignment I believe you're well suited for. I'm ready for more. What do you need? Any job you've got, I can do it. Do I get paid for it? Paid? No, perhaps there's been some misunderstanding about how all this works. What? You are not a mercenary. You are serving the Brotherhood of Steel to ensure our way of life to help advance the lives of everyone in the wasteland. Our continued survival should be payment enough. If that is insufficient, you would do well to reconsider your involvement here. Maybe the Enclaves will pay me. You don't have a sense of humor, do you? I don't get paid at all. This gig sucks. Sorry, it was just a joke. I have yet to find a sense of humor to be essential to my survival. Should that change, I'll be sure to seek you out for advice. In the meantime, I need someone willing to scout out and potentially retrieve valuable technology from the ruins of Old Olney. I already been there. For something that I believe can be found in the Olney Power Works. Are you up to it? I've already been there, sure. Hopefully you'll be able to find a Tesla coil, an experimental device from before the war. Our scribes need it to complete a little surprise they've been preparing for the Enclave. Get there, get the coil, and get back as safely and quickly as possible. Any questions? Seems like a pretty easy mission, to be honest. I've already killed all the death balls that were there, because I was the doing the vault up north there before, and I killed all those guys there anyway. Alright, have to go now, I guess. I'll be waiting for that Tesla coil. If you Speak with Scribe Valancourt in the thing. Okay, where's Scribe Valancourt? Scribe Valancourt. Guess she's back where the other scribes are. I mean, I might be able to do this mission pretty fast, we'll see. Because I'm pretty sure the Death Claws will stay dead. They shouldn't respawn. Because there was like a key door that I couldn't open, I believe. I don't fully remember. Where is she? Ah, she's in here, the men, the mess hall. Somewhere. Nope. 
Ah, there she is. She walked past me. Ah, uh, oh, there she is. God damn. I'm still You're hiding too good. Busy. Is this important or can it wait? It's important, lady. Well, maybe. I mean, possibly. I think so, but I'm not certain. I don't know how much this will actually help. I mean, I'm not quite sure how effective it might be, since it hasn't really been field tested. But I think I've figured out a way to override the signals the Enclave is using to control their death claws. Here, take this. It's only a prototype, so please don't lose it. What exactly is this thing? It's a semi-standard transmitter, only I altered the frequency modulation and jacked up the output. Based on some experiments I ran here in the lab, it should override the signals the Enclave uses to control death claws. Don't worry, it's constantly broadcasting, so you don't need to do anything. Just don't lose it. And well, that so makes far, it easier. I have no evidence of adverse effects of EM interference in humans. Animals, maybe, but not humans. Well, that my anyway, super mutant friend. He's kind of like an animal. Broadcast range, but it should be enough. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. No. As long as you're within range of the Enclave's transmitter, your signal oh, should that's what those get too are. far away. Well, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I think there might be some bad effect. Okay. All right, then. There have been reports of an Enclave camp southeast of Old Olney, so I'd head there. I hope the Scrambler ends up being... All right. I did kill those guys, but I crashed, I think, and so I lost my progress there. No, that's right, I got killed by a death claw. Yeah, yeah, no, I lost my progress for that fight. What are you doing, folks? Getting stuck. You crazy. Hopefully he teleports with me. Is there a bed we can use here? Can I use these beds? Hells yeah. Probably should wait for daytime, actually. And then let's go map. Gear up, soldier. Oh, death claws. Oh, that was a weird texture pop there. Alright, we saved your life, Raider. You gonna be my friend? Nope, okay. And your head goes pop. Alright, which one first? One slightly to the left, got it. I think it's time for the A. Blinken Revolver. Get yeah, which I put it on. Did I put it on five, maybe? That's the rock launcher. No, I haven't changed it to five yet. Okay. A. Blinken Revolver. Acha. I hear shots Get going on. Is this the place? Boom! Lincoln shot. Oh, I'm in range of these things. Oh, you didn't die? I thought you would die one hit, lady. So I freed this guy. Is he gonna do something for me? Oh, look at his little hat. Oh, what a cutie. Come on, boy. We got some people to kill. Oh, 
got a teeny tiny computer. Indicated. Oh, that's pretty close to indicated. So is there another tidded? Separated? Ooh, very close to separated. Renovated. Ooh. Retreated? There we go. Had to be one of be one of the Teds. Officers report. Our detachment established a base camp outside of Only. The township's been given a wide berth and we've deployed out the attainment units behind the slope to avoid being caught upwind of the Deathclaw population. We're not sure if these things use pheromones or any other kind of communication, but I'm not taking a chance. Officers orders. Establish a perimeter around the township of Olney. Verify reports of Deathclaw population in township and the brief to superiors of our findings. Acquire Deathclaw specimens as opportunity allows, minimizing casualties to local Deathclaw population and enclave personnel. Mm -hmm. Well, they did a pretty good job. They got two Deathclaws. Now I have a Deathclaw. Alright, uh, oop, I'm getting stuck. Do I want me to go up the top there, or am I done here? Because... I don't see any other enclave people here. Otherwise they would have shown up by now. Alright, little Deathclaw. Off to Olney we go. Oh no. Poor guy. Oh, it's a Blood Brotherhood cultist. What's he doing over there? They're still scary motherfuckers, I think. I know, I haven't fought one in ages. Outcast power armor, plus two strength, minus two agility. Okay. Alright, what are we gonna do inside this town? Where do we gotta go? Cotton Eye Joe. Alright, we're in the sewers. I thought I cleared out all the death claws in the sewers, but I guess they respawn. So you can see where I have killed them, right there. Real question is, why can I... I forgot what my real question was. Why couldn't I open the door in here before? Am I able to open it now, or is it just... Some other thing? Yeah, I think it was this ladder I couldn't go in before. What the? What the? you get in here, smooth skin? Who are you? What are you doing in here? Oh, great ghouls. I hate ghouls. I'm looking for only power works. You know where it is? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure thing. Uh, just right through here. 
Only there's a few death claws down here that might have other ideas. You know what I'm saying? Nope. I'm not afraid of no death claws. And there's so many death claws. How you just buy? Why are you down here? Hey, we ran faster than the others, that's how. Ain't nothing honorable about it, but we're still alive, and they ain't. I can live with that. Listen, this wasn't my fault, okay? It wasn't my idea to tunnel down here. I just went along with it. But whatever. What's done is done. Me and Kid, we're getting out of here. You came in that way, that means we can get back out. See you later, Kid. Alright, well, see you later, buddy. See you later, Kid. Hey, right, pretty good setup here. All right, what do we got going on here, eh? Got some bubble gum. Bubble gum shrimp. I am being mindful, buddy. That's why I'm taking my time to walk slowly around. Not rushing in, oh, crazy like. Taking my sweet old gibbons. Probably heal up a little bit, otherwise I might die to some death glories. Sha 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 sha. Delicious water. All right, so far seems good. Badger! No! Not Badger! Ah, oh, Cottonly! Ah, oh, no! Well, I can think when I hear the name Cottonly is Jennifer Cottonly in, uh... What's it called? The Labyrinth? Damn, that was a good movie. Did you hear about the girl? The girl of the babe. Hey, Deathclaw. Bye, Deathclaw. Any more Deathclaws coming out of them woodworks? Shaking them ass. Gotta go in real smooth like. No, oh, no, we're all good. I thought there was multiple death claws. All I see is one death claw. I was expecting a much bigger fight. Especially with all these frags they're giving us. And mines. Dang it. It's like they want us to lay a trap of some sort and then run right past them. Oh, no, it's back where we were. Okay. Pow, pow. Ah, sneak skills finally coming in handy. I only took getting it to like level 70 to get it be useful. What? Is that some sort of baby bomb? The death claw set up the baby bomb. That was a mind there. 
Oh, he just knocked that wood out of the way. Okay. Oh. Not what I need, guys. Caliber rounds, hunting rifle. Tire iron. Useless. Alright, sneak it in. Got my eyes peeled, but I don't see no death claws. Oh, hey, death claw. Ow. Alright, where's my students? Ch ch cherry bomb. Hey, if I say get nice. All right, any more death claws that I can sneak kill? I think it might notice I'm here. Oh no, sneak attack. Good, it went for him over me. Alright, these stealth boys are actually working well. What a convenient bed point. If only I needed it. I think they expected like this to be like way more difficult. With the way they're like giving us sort of like tools to like handle the situation. Instead of me just like walking in going pow pow. Ah. Alright, we got in here. Average safe. Alright, I have no idea where the point is. Is it straight up? Yeah, it's straight up. I know, my stuff, boy. Oh well. This is a pretty cool place though, now that we've cleared it out, sort of. I can see myself living here. Alright boys, need to stealth boy it up again. I don't know why they're giving us like hunting rifles that are like so weak against death claws in particular and a lot of other stuff. Door to old only S. Wilston building. I oh, know the enclave here. Stop attack. Good job, Fox. Taking the aggro. Oh, there he is. How did I not get stuff hit there? Oops, I want the stuff, but not the Tesla stuff. 
Although it's probably better armor than what I got right now. Tesla 26 versus, yeah, it's way better. All right. Keep my hair on. My hair's too sexy to lose. says I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Ow, 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 ow. I'm in danger. Oops, didn't mean to pick up whatever I picked up. Alright, let me fix my inventory. So, we got Tesla armor. Let's equip the better one, then repair the one I got. I probably shouldn't have equipped the helmet. Where's my hat? I want the fancy hat. 31 versus 33. Gives fire resist, plus one strength and radiance. This one gives energy. Energy is pretty good for what we're doing. Uh, where is my... There it is. Button wig. That's what I want. Well, my button wig is broken. Dang it. I like it so much. It was such a cool wig. Oh, I wear my party hat instead. Alright, weapons. Gatlin laser. Hunting rifle. Missile launcher. Combat shotgun. That should help a lot. Yeah, there we go. Fix my arm. I mean my equip load. Let's whoops, didn't mean to stealth boy. I wanted to use Sims. Oh well. Should probably like get rid of my radiation poisoning too, that's probably causing me some issues. Right away. Cha -ching, cha -ching. Oh. I went back to where I was. I bet. Although it says to go that way. Maybe it means like upstairs fully. Wait. Maybe that was a different area entirely. It just looked exactly the same. Yeah, it's a different area entirely. My bad. I hear a Tesla going off, so it must be the right place. Hit the head. Okay. Uh, thanks, my friend. Okay. Alright, where is this Tesla coil? I hear a thing going bzz, bzz, bzz. I don't see a thing going bzz, bzz, bzz. Uh, maybe it's got this door here. Maybe I can open something with it. Desperation! Oh, well, it's pretty close to desperately. Maybe there's another description? Yeah, I think it might be des. So let's go for all the des. It's destruction? Okay. Destructive is the only other one I see. 
Well, luckily we got the thing that lets us go back into it every time. So we fail, we just try again. Recognition. Okay, let's check if it's a Ishon. Night Vision. Okay, it's not Ion, so it must be Rec. Destructive. Okay, yep. Definitely the E and the I at the end, maybe. I don't see any other R words. Nope. Not making any progress on this automation thing. Oh no, it's locked, locked. She. Alright, well. I would have backed out if I knew that was the case. I thought I could just keep doing it infinitely. Shut down automated process. Load control manifest. Uh huh. Alright, shut down. Okay, I can't do the very hard terminal. Nope. Damn it, folks. How do I get the key? the desk. Nope. How do I get in? Serpentine, scrap metal. Ah, there's a doorway here. Okay, there we go. My bad. Should have realized. There's a lot of smoke going on in this battery. I mean, this place. Uh, da, 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 nothing. Okay. Take some Rad X. Man, there's a lot of cigarettes around. Everyone must love them. Alright, hard terminal. Welcome to Robotic Industries. Descendant. Okay. Recognition. Devastation. Okay. Let's try again. Televisions. Hey, lots of L's and Ishans. Uh, description? Maybe? Nope. Well, apparently. Ah, oh, I on S. Yes, yes. Is there any other I on S's? Generations? There we go. Vent radiation. Shut down automated progress. Uh, 
activate emitter. This object is activated from somewhere else, so this might be like some sort of Tesla coil area, I don't know. Okay, good. What? Robot, stop waking up and then I'm going to sleep. Why have a sentry bot? As long as you don't fight me. Uh, recognition. Description. Yep, same as last time. Destruction. Okay, very close to destruction. Destructive. Yes. Okay, we already did that, and nope, leave the automated process off. Okay, this one. Destroying. Reduce. Conspiring. Is there another con-ing? Contending. What? Wasn't contending? What was it? Alright, try again. Percentage. Look for another per. Recreating. Oh, recreating. My bad. Disengage security system. Disengaging security door. Okay, the system isn't shooting me. That's good. Emergency electrical switch. Alright, uh, didn't do nothing. Oh, that's definitely some sort of Tesla coil going on down there. Any notes on this thing that I can read or something? I don't even know how this Tesla coil is still going, to be honest. There's a door down there towards it. Requires a key. Oh, it doesn't. Requires an access panel. Ah, that's back in here, okay. Gotcha. There are these tiny Tesla coils here. We got this like portal looking Tesla coil. Are we gonna go to uh, Xen? How do I get down there? Ah, that's still here. Ladder to old only. Remote access, research terminal hard. Oh. Hopefully we don't crash while I'm doing this. A definition, okay. Automobile, okay. Accusation, okay. Probably never like deaf word, D E word, but I don't know it. 
Uh, discipline. Is there another IEN word that I can use to verify? Uh, decimating. Ooh, very close to decimating. It's the light matching decimating. It's got the T. It's got the DE. So that's four. Yeah, it could be delighting. There we go. All right, trigger machine failsafe, powering down. <laughs> Alien power cell, yoink. 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 All right. Let's save in case I crash. I have the Tesla coil. Look out, folks. <laughs> yeah, spells dangerous. What a line. All right. Oh, hey there, Jeff Claw. <laughs> Where'd you come from? Surprise, Deathclaw! I was expecting, like, Enclave to show up, but... I guess not. Let's head on back. Mm-hmm. Back to the Citadel, yep. Ah, nuts. It's night time. Oh. Luckily, the entrance should be dead ahead, and then we work out from there. Hey you. The Brotherhood is at your service. All right, Tristan, where you at? Hey, you found a Tesla coil. Excellent. I'll see to it that this reaches the scribes immediately. You've done good work, soldier. Are you ready for your next assignment? We don't have time to spare. I mean. Let's go, buddy. I need a break. Only was tougher than I thought. Nah, man, I'm all in. Based I'm all on in. the data you brought us from the relay station, we've identified where the Enclave is basing their operation. It seems they have a Got second base notes. of operations Got at Adams Air Force Base outside of D.C. The only safe way to get there is through the presidential metro used by the government before the war. You're going to be on your own again for now. The rest of the Brotherhood will be providing a distraction so you can slip in undetected. Once you breach the presidential metro and get to Adams Air Force Base, look for the resupply crate. Inside, you'll find your new orders, and hopefully, a working, a working Tesla, Tesla cannon. cannon into your hands. Sounds pretty sweet to me. Level up. All right, guys, this is where we're going to be ending the stream right here. If this level up, so we're going to take our time looking at it and thinking about it. Get big guns up, energy guns up a little bit more, I don't know. Well, pretty good. I kind of want to like keep everything like around 80 if I can. So let's get sneak up just a touch more. Let's get big guns up to at least 50. And then what else do we need? Repair a little bit more, I reckon. I think at 75 would be good for repair. Could do medicine. Medicine's a good place to put some stuff. Speech is good too. I mean, explosives is fun, but it's kind of annoying to like use in a lot of cases. So let's go medicine. All right, as for our level 22, we should have some new stuff to pick, right? So we got the quantum chemist, which I don't care about. Deep sleep, I don't care about. And explorer, I don't care about. What do we got level 24? 24, devil's high weed. Nope. Just all the rebalances and special to five, which I don't care about. And so we got a whole bunch of like wasted levels coming up. I, I really don't care about quantum cola. I like never use it. Puppies. But I never have dog meat anyway, so. Contract killer, lore bringer, elementan, skeleton, nerd rage. Mr. Sandman. When you're in sneak mode, you gain opportunities to silently kill any human or ghoul while they're sleeping. 
and old Mr. Sandman kills earn bonus EXP. I mean, that might be useful to do that quest where I have to like kill Carol so I can get uh, Caron. Uh, da, da, da. I mean, bloody mess sounds pretty good. 5% extra damage. None of the rest really do anything for me. I mean, entomologist could be good. I think entomologist or bloody mess. I'm gonna go bloody mess. I'll go entomologist next time. Who dares wins? Alright guys, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, give it a like, give it a subscribe if you're over on YouTube. And if you're over on the Twitch, give it a follow. All these things help the channel grow and reach more people, which make the streams more interesting. Because I have more people to bounce off in the chat below. Hope you guys had a good day. Tomorrow we'll be doing some more of Fallout 3. We're going to be finishing off whatever this Enclave storyline is. And then we're going to be doing all the DLC stuff. And of course, Vault 108. Hopefully I can do it real fast. I'll try to like beeline a lot more. I've been a lot more meandering these past few days, but I think it's time to like get to brass tacks and get this game done. Cause I'm sort of getting to the point where I've like, I've had my fallout fill. I've had my fallout bug itch and it's all good. And if you want to see my thoughts about the fallout TV show, I have a video on my channel about it and it's rather good. I liked a lot of it and then it all fell apart in the last minute of the show pretty much it's just how it is and then when you start looking at it more it gets worse and worse it's one of those shows that you should just leave it at the surface appreciation and then never think about it ever again anyway hope you guys have had a good one i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye